Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Annex Games Curiosity Initiative, which is a production of Annex Theatre. Uh, and once a month we discover new games, we dig into old favorites, we boldly go where no player has gone before, sort of. Uh, and if you have any quick one-shot games that you would like us to play in this monthly game, uh, we'd love to hear about it. That would be awesome. Um, we are hosted here at Annex Theatre. Many of you watching probably already know what that is, but we're here on the relatively safe Capitol Hill. Uh, and Annex Theatre has been in existence for, we found out before we started this, 37 years. We did that math. Um, and we are still in existence because of you, the community, um, not just through donations, which we will get to in a moment, uh, but also through the community who does shows here and brings art to this stage, um, which is my super fancy segue uh, to drop the first of many links into chat um, and tell you that the request for proposals for Annex Theatre is now open. So I'm going to drop that into the YouTube chat. There you go. Um, if you have ideas for things you want to bring to Annex Theater stage, uh, go put that in the RFP, because we want to know about it. And that'd be awesome to see it. So tonight, however, we are playing Raccoon Sky Pirates, which is a game written by Chris Sellers from Hectic Electron. This is the adorable cover art of it. Love it. Uh, this is a game where we play raccoons piloting a skyship flying from our home junkyard in search of bigger, bolder, better, more high quality trash. Uh, we're gonna talk through how to play it because one of our players has not ever played it before. Um, and to be perfectly transparent with you, those of us at the play test uh, did it incorrectly slightly. So <laughs> this is gonna be good for all of us to get used to that. Um, before we get into that though, let's go around and introduce ourselves so we all know who's at the table. I'll start with you. Me first. Yeah. My name is Laura Johnston. I am, uh, I've been with Annex Theater for, fuck me, 23 <laughs> years. <laughs> so I started in 2000. Um, uh, completely out of order. I use she, they pronouns. Uh, I have been playing role playing games, not quite like this, but role playing games for, I don't want to think of the number since about the mid 80s. Let's not think about it too hard. Um, and I am excited to be here tonight because I get to play a raccoon. I get to dress my face up like this and put on things. I get to have ears. So that's me. Thank you. Hi, uh, Ryan Higgins, he, him. Um, on and off relationship with Annex. That makes plenty of sense. Uh, it's theater. Um, uh, have been in the uh, bathtub with RPGs for about six years. Um, this is my first time playing with raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Tad Morgan. I am an actor, a dungeon master, and gamer. I use he, him, his pronouns. I've worked with Annex several times over the years. Uh, very excited to be a part of this game exploration process. Uh, and if you want me to read your audiobook, find me on ACX. <laughs> and I'm Kara Kittrick, uh, she, her. I have no relationship with Annex, except that I was flown in tonight blindfolded <laughs> to partake in this ex highly experimental thing where I don't know what we're doing. And I've played role-playing games, I don't know, like my whole life or something. It's Pretty much, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of games, a lot of homebrews, a lot of running homebrews, that kind of thing. Um, and I am Kenna Ketrick, uh, and I use she, her pronouns. Yes, those names are very similar. So confusing. <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> um, uh, I am the one who dragged Kara here tonight, and I'm very excited about it. Um, I have also off and on done shows with Annex for, ooh, like maybe eight or nine years, something like that. Um, and I have been playing role-playing games of various flavors for like half my life. Um, so yeah, super excited to play this game. Um, now, a thing about this, uh, Raccoon Sky Pirates, the idea behind this is that everybody who's playing is playing. There's not really a like, dungeon master, game master in the sort of more D&D sense. Um, when we did a play test, uh, the facilitator who was kind of helping with the book was also playing. Um, we're gonna do that as slightly different tonight. Um, I'm going to be facilitating, uh, and then instead of being a raccoon, I'm going to be you. Uh, the audience is going to have the chance to donate and change the course of the game in various uh, incredibly chaotic ways. Um, and I'm going to be your representative opossum of the rival gang. Uh, <laughs> and you get to tell me what to do and how we affect the raccoons that are at the table. 
Um, before we get into that, though, let's start talking about the game and how to play the game. Um, do you want to hand me the box so we can just move that? Yeah, thank you. Um, so, pardon the noise. Um, <laughs> the goal of Raccoon Sky Pirates uh, is to get bigger, better trash. Um, that is the main goal of all of you as a it's team. It's a good goal. Goal yeah. of life, really. <laughs> really, honestly. Um, so the idea is that these uh, raccoons live in the junkyard, um, but they know that in the suburban houses at the edges of the neighborhoods, there are so many opportunities for scavenging and cool trash and things that they can steal. Uh, and so the goal is to get in their skyship. Um, yes, they have a skyship. We'll get to that. Uh, and fly across the various neighborhoods of this town, land at a house, get as much trash as they possibly can, and then fly back all without uh, the Neighborhood Watch finding them, the rival Opossum Gang blowing up their ship, uh, or their ship just exploding because of cascading problems. Um, because raccoons. Because raccoons are flying a skyship. I don't, yeah. I mean, I think that's all I need to say about that. They're not licensed. No, There's in no. any way. Yeah. There's no certification whatsoever. Um, this plays out over the course of five scenes that are kind of delineated um, as we go. And that's where the audience comes in. There's various things you can do in each of those scenes to cause chaos and change stuff up. Um, but I think going in order, we should start with character and ship setup. Um, so does anybody want to start uh, and share their character and explain some of the things? I think, yeah, that's showing. Um, in the camera in the middle, we've got a sample character sheet of one of the yeah. raccoons we are not playing. Um, and you can see there's a couple things on there that you can choose in terms of like ticking off boxes of what you look like, uh, what your personal goal is, um, what your relationship is to other raccoons, um, and then there's some other kind of write in answer questions to think about building well, your character. Why don't we then. start with me? Yeah, let's do And that. why don't you describe the process as I go through it? Sure. Let's do it. And I'm going to put my thing right on the yeah. camera thing area thing here. <laughs> the it's camera map. Great. Looks good already. I love it. I, yeah, so we fill in the pronouns, um, and then you can choose what look you want out of those three. Um, frankly, you could also make up something else. Like, I don't think this is supposed to be yeah, constraining. Yeah, I, th I think I need welding goggles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you are wearing goggles right now, so that makes sense. I am, to be clear, wearing welding goggles. <laughs> we admire your commitment to the bit. <laughs> I figured, you know, if I'm here, I might as well do it. I might as well. Uh, and then there is a personal goal to choose. Personal goal. Um, this, mechanically, this comes in um, later in the game. Um, in the book, it's a little bit more advanced rules, and if you are playing with these same raccoons a second time, winning your personal goal means that you can upgrade some of the actions on your sheet. Um, I'm going to say that if any of you as raccoons get your personal goal at any point in the play tonight, we should just give you those upgrades immediately, because why wait for another game? Because we're only doing once. So if you do get your personal goal, let me know, and we'll... Keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll upgrade your stuff. Yeah. Um, and What's then next? The, the other thing is relationships. So part of this is building our raccoon team. So you get to choose one of those questions and ask it to the raccoon to your left. And uh, this is where the improv storytelling starts to come in. So. Yeah. OK, so I'm going to choose the third one, which is I'm excited about this next trip. Does that make you more or less at ease, and why? <laughs> you are excited? I am excited about this next trip. Oh, well, if you're excited, then I'm absolutely really excited, because if anything, it's kind of a kind of a cheerleading thing, kind of a, you mentioned the word inductance once and it's stuck in my head, I have no idea what it means, but I think it might absolutely apply, so if you're excited, I'm excited, yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then the other question, um, which, Laura, if you want to take the sheet back and think about that, um, we can kind of do a final round around that as well. But the last question to answer on the character sheet is, what is one thing you want to steal, and how would that improve life in the junkyard? Mm -hmm. So you have a personal goal, and then you have kind of a personal for the group goal in terms of what you want to steal and why. Um, right. I know what I want. Can I just write it down? Yeah, just write it down. I'm yeah. going to write it down I'm the camera right now. I'm not going to stop you. I just want to give you time. <laughs> give you time. No. <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> Good, yes. 
Yes. I want to steal a Tesla. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. I'm that's. Ready. I love that. We need power in the junkyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and what's your name? Oh, my name is Vibrissa. I just I'm sticking with the name that, that came on the character sheet. I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Vibrissa. Vibrissa, the inventor. BT Dubs. Mm -hmm. My adjectives yes. are cunning and inventive and YOLO, which stands for you only live once. Um, and those will come into play. They are mechanically part of the game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Uh, I'll be playing a Good old stern Eddie. gentleman by the name of Rabies Eddie. <laughs> uh, uh, he is sensitive uh, to the world and to everything. Uh, he, him. Uh, his uh, uh, adjectives are strong, aggressive, and YOLO, which stands for YOLO. Uh, his look absolutely is one-eyed and scarred. The first time I read that was one-eared and sacred. Uh, and then I realized that, no, it, it, yeah, it's, it's scarred. That's I better. like both of those options. You know, honestly. I yeah, kind of, yeah, so it, that's rolled into the tapestry that is Rabies Eddie. Um, personal goal... I, the first time we played, we went with steal something nobody else could appreciate, but I kind of found that redundant with the last question. So mm. uh, for this one, for Funzos, uh, we're going to find a reason to go berserk <laughs> because um, there is eloquence. <laughs> <violence>. <laughs> um, and the last time we asked, uh, uh, what do you see in me uh, that everyone else misses? So this time we're going to change it up. Uh, you... You saw me get a memorable scar once. What happened? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I think <laughs> you got real mad mm. at like an itch that you had, and so you were grooming yourself. Mm -hmm. But then you were grooming yourself, and you were biting yourself, and that made you mad. So then you started biting harder and harder and harder, and that made you more mad. And so you, you gave yourself a pretty gnarly scar. Yeah, yeah no, I, I deserved it. I deserved it. I remember that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's a forearm love bite. Uh, and what is one thing you want to steal? Oh, camera. What is one thing you want to steal, and how could that improve life in the junkyard? I'm going to stick with an oldie but a goodie, and that is a human child. <laughs> um, don't know how Rabies Eddie is, is going to get his tiny claws on a human child. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, uh, he's pretty sure that will bring improvements to life in the junkyard. Yeah, yeah. great plans. How could it not? How could it not? <laughs> they will be the chosen one. Exactly. You know, we'll raise them and yeah. they'll use their yeah. human intelligence. Or a bargaining token. <laughs> so many versatile. options. Versatile, you know? All right, my character is Kit, the widowest raccoon. Uh, my look is kawaii. <laughs> for all the weebs uh, in chat. Uh, my personal goal is to explore the hidden parts of whatever house we end up at. Uh, spoiler alert, we don't actually know what kind of house we're gonna find, but I'm sure there'll be something hidden. We'll find the Adams Family House, it'll be great. Yeah. Um, and uh, I have a, a question to ask of Brisket. Oh. My question is, I was once scared of something in the junkyard. How did you help me get over it? Um, yeah, I think it was a large Rottweiler. <laughs> um, and I came up and I told you that it was just as afraid of you <laughs> as you are as, of it. And you were hurt quite badly because that was very bad advice. Yeah. But you weren't scared anymore after that happened. <laughs> right. Just traumatized. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. You buried those emotions deep inside. All right. This is only appropriate. That's the... Yeah. So uh, uh, given that experience with the dog, I think the one thing that I want to steal is... Uh, I, I mean, it says one thing. So I guess the one thing is a cone of shame that I could put <laughs> on a dog nice. so that it won't be able to bite me as fast. Yeah. Something yeah. along those lines. Mm -hmm. You'll stop seeing it. Something to bounce nightmares. off of before, yeah. the, before the jaws close. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I like that. <coughs> All right. And it seems that my character's name is Brisket Jack. <laughs> um, I'm imagining gray and grizzled. I'm imagining big, like, they've been doing get rich schemes and crimes their entire life, and now they're very old energy. So, you know, those, like, thin, rimless 
sunglasses they wear all the time, <laughs> like the sort of gold chain for no reason. That's right. kind of their look. They wrote a yeah. book called uh, Rich Raccoon, Poor Raccoon. Um, <laughs> it wasn't, it was a raccoon book though, so it was just like three paw prints on a piece of toilet paper. But they, you know. It sold well. Yeah, it, it, it sold well. It was one of their better schemes. Um, and uh, yeah, I think their, their personal goal is to steal a large hunk of meat because um, that's, it's very important to them, just sort of for the clout. I'm going to say uh, they're one of those he-theys. They were he-him, but someone told them it was important to diversify. <laughs> <laughs> so they kind of <laughs> did that. Let me take a look at my questions here. Um, okay. Why do you look to me for leadership, and is that a good idea? <laughs> I look to you for leadership because you're so grizzled. Mm -hmm. It is apparent that you've done so many things, and you're still here. So you obviously did them well enough to survive. And this is a challenge that I constantly face. Because when I do things so frequently, they explode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you... They really do. They really do. It's, really, it's actually quite impressive, the, the explosions we've had. Um, I feel like you Dangerous. might be able to give me general advice on how to continue being an alive raccoon <laughs> instead of an exploded raccoon. Yeah. I mean, stick with me, kid. You'll be rich. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> rich in no time. I, I read the book. I was, I was very impressed. <laughs> yeah. And I think on that note, what is the one thing you want to steal and how could that improve life in the junkyard? I think I want to steal a bunch of those subliminal, mes subliminal messaging self-improvement tapes <laughs> yes. that we can Ooh. play while we're sleeping <laughs> during the day yeah. to sort of, you know, self-actualize. I'm imagining raccoons with little earbuds in. Just yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Down the sun. <laughs> That's my dream future. That's what I want for the raccoon hive. Hive pack. So what I don't know. I don't, I don't Who know. knows? Yeah. What is the raccoon raccoon is coven? A collective yeah. noun for raccoon. A Somebody murder of raccoon. Chat. Yeah. The chat may know. Chat's, a problem chat knows of all raccoons. things. <laughs> An explosion of raccoons. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I don't. I think they're solitary. I don't think I they really do. No, they're not. No. But no. 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 Not according to my backyard. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about nature. <laughs> saying things confidently. <laughs> no, they they like hanging out together. They they'll Interesting. steal things in coordination with well, each other. It's actually very impressive. As we'll see. Here we are. are. Sure. Here yeah. we are. Yeah. <laughs> this game is extremely true to nature. I would just like you all to know the, uh, the accuracy and research that went into this. Just truly impressive. Yeah. Truly impressive. Yeah. Um, great. Okay. We sky have ships, for created characters. Yeah. Skyships, for instance. Um, let's, let's take Maria as the example away um, and talk about the dumpster fire. The dumpster mm -hmm. fire. Uh, so this is another place where we get to take off some boxes and create the skyship um, and what it looks like, what is sort of parts of it. Um, I can't really see it from here, so I'm just going to kind of take a look at it. Um, right, so questions. Uh, how does the ship float? As I recall, we go around and we each answer one of these. Yeah, so we kind of each have a, a moment to, to take a look at that. So right. um, whoever wants to start can look at the options. I think you should roll your dice. Oh, rollies. Ooh. Yeah. OK, let's no, no, roll. you should roll your oh, dice. Oh, I should roll my die. Oh, right. You have your selector die. I do have, I do have my selector die. All the dice in this game burp, burp, burp. are D12. They're 12-sided dice. Yeah. And uh, I love that because D12s don't get enough love. D20s are everywhere. D6s, can't get rid of them. D12s, you don't see them enough. This, Kaidu and Crow, D12s. Let's go. Love it. Uh, I rolled for Tad. So. Yeah. There's so many great options. How does the ship float? Yeah. yeah. Options are hot air, hydrogen or helium, swamp gas, Dozens, dozens of helicopter dozens blades. Of helicopter <laughs> blades. <laughs> Mechanical oh wings. I really, uh, I'm a big fan of, of Fucking magnets. Uh, quantum theory and stuff. And cavorite sounds like uh, some kind of nuclear waste byproduct. So I think we're going to go with that. It sounds sort of like cordite, which is actually the substance that's left over after a nuclear reactor goes critical. Hmm. It's the slurry of... Uh, <laughs> 
I thought Cardite materials. was an explosive. Is this taking place in like the abandoned city of Pripyat? <laughs> did, no one, did no one brief me? It might. It might be. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I think, is, if, if that's a request. Uh, <laughs> I had to Google it. Um, it's anti-grav. It's a hypothetical oh. substance with anti-gravity. Oh, elements. caverite is, oh, okay. It's that's from H.G. Right. Wells. Nice. Really good to know Oh, that that's it's not sort real. of like, uh, really yeah. happy. <laughs> like Just having like a second. ether from uh, yeah. old, uh, so, the so we have an anti gravity ship. We anti yeah, anti gravity. Yeah. Nice. So I'm okay. down with this. Congratulations. Yeah. You outdid yourself. <laughs> Hijinx. Hijinx are coming. Because Ooh. what can you do with anti gravity? As an inventor, I'm very interested in these questions. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Next question. So next is our strengths and liabilities, I think. Or is it no, I think we go to this question. I think we can do it in whatever we want. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. That's fine. Pick a question that you would like to answer. Oh, is it is it me? It. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're so, just, we're going around the circle. Yeah. So there's strengths and liabilities. Um, we can which, pick two strengths. Yeah, you can pick everything two else of the is a liability. Um, the strengths and liabilities yeah, let's, are let's, primarily yeah. for narrative flavor. Um, they don't it, have much mechanical effect. Yeah, they don't have a huge mechanical effect, but it is really helpful to know, generally speaking, what your ship is like when you are describing how it's moving through the world. Well, it's definitely not quiet, <laughs> and I don't think it's fast. I want to say it's well armed and tightly fastened together. <laughs> so, nice. sure. kind of a big bundle of guns. Well armed, <laughs> tightly fastened together. That's good. Those raccoons That's are good. not fucking Just around. Slowing. <laughs> no. It does mean that we're slow and noisy and yeah. vulnerable yeah. and hard to steer. Yeah, totally. really. I think we probably had a ship that was like, you know, sleek and quiet yeah, and yeah, fast yeah. and maneuverable. And now the with the possums, we're just like, we, we, we go. got, we're doing the gun one. It's now. a big ball of guns. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Big no, ball it's a floating guns. ball of yeah. guns. Shoot the fucking sort of possums out of the sky. It rotates haphazardly. Just kind of omni barrel. <laughs> right. It's yeah. like, okay. That's Ray, Rabies Eddy was consulted on yes. that <laughs> design <a> choice. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh, and then the other section is. Oh, we have a, a couple of other sections. Yeah. yeah. We have about quirks. I always forget about yeah. quirks. We have quirks, so I'm going to. I'm going to choose our carnival ride. Mm, good. So mm -hmm. the ship is composed of a wrecked car, a carnival ride, and a home appliance, plus a bunch of other shit. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to choose the octopus, <laughs> nice. which gives us the power of reach out with long arms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. That really <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Else we know about this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just spinning off the top. This is like an alien craft. It's anti-gravity and it has tentacles. Yeah, it's yeah. like a <laughs> Nautilus from Spelljammer. It's like yeah. an illithid. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's a really intimidating thing to like <laughs> roll up on suburbia yeah. looking yeah. for shiny stuff. <laughs> Jamie, what's that in the sky? Oh, it's just the raccoons. <laughs> Go back inside until the siren shuts off. Have you seen the octopus they added? The thing about this is, uh, in the world building of this game, <laughs> the idea is that the raccoons and their sky ships raid suburbia constantly, mm -hmm. and there is like a neighborhood watch for them. So you were not actually that far off. Okay. Yes. Of, like, okay. The alarm goes off. And they're like, fucking raccoons close the shutters. <laughs> yeah, the air raid. <laughs> yeah. Without having read the book, you are absolutely picking up what they're putting down. Amazing. Terrifying. I'm going to jump in. Do it. I'm going to call our, uh, What's our, our home appliance. Mm. Uh-oh. Um, just because it really makes a lot of sense with the uh, whole vibe that we're working with. I'm going to say that we decided on a food processor so that we can cut through anything. Mm. Which if you imagine it, a food processor is essentially the same idea as the octopus right. yeah. type of dealing. Yeah. Sure. So big rotos, smaller <laughs> rotos, yeah. lots of spinning blades. <laughs> what if we had Blades on the octopus arms. On the octopus arms. Yeah. 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 Octoprocessor. <laughs> octoprocessor. Yeah. Well, you know how some octopi have, instead of suckers, they have like hooks. It could right. be like that, but it's food but processor spinning blades. Right. Exactly. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm so afraid of this guy. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. It's terrifying. I'm also not going to sleep tonight because <laughs> of that fact. <laughs> There's oh. hooks on octopi. It's yeah, sort of like the ones that the jellyfish have. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, that was its own thing. Yeah. Including the colossal squid, which is the largest squid by mass. Mm -hmm. I, I just thought octopi were the only yeah. chill ones. Okay, yeah. cool. No. Uh, and I think our, uh, our ship... The dumpster fire 
is Thanks. sort of anchored on top yes. of an old, like a hollowed out school bus. Yeah. <laughs> I think the back end is completely missing, so it's just sort of like a, a corridor with an open, like, it's space. Like somebody like turrets the back, you know? out yeah. the windows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so is and it then like tentacles a... that sort of, yeah, mm -hmm. flop around. Yeah, so is it a thing like sort of a hermit crab or like a nautilus or something where it's, it's like Ooh. the bus is sort of the shell and mm. it's like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. There's probably and the octopus comes out. Yeah, there, there's probably yeah. tentacles that that breach the windows. I like the, the Nautilus mm -hmm. theme. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and school buses also often have those escape hatches on the top. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. yeah. Got plenty of that's that. so smart. <coughs> yeah. My question for the group, of course, is: Are we armed with any projectile weapons, or are we just spinning blades of death? Yeah, it's, it really seems like a grappling kind of. Uh, Set up you to reach me. out and you pull. Yeah, the Ooh, yeah. that's yeah. kind of what it sounds like. I do like that. Yeah. So wait, are the blades on the end of the arms, or are they like yes. somewhere up? Okay. <laughs> well, we got both. Yeah, I feel yeah. you're yeah. A pop, you're 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 going to be doomed by this. Yeah. And I then, know, but it's really cool. I think I think they'll be all right. <laughs> and then of course there's the beak. Right. They get past everything. Else. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The beak. Which is probably <laughs> just Eddie. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Eddie. It's Eddie. It's like a gun turret panel <laughs> on the bottom that has a hole that he can just access. Yeah. It's just him like wobbling around. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hanging like on a, with his real legs. It's like a B-17 G. Uh -huh. You just type a yeah. bubble and he right, just reaches yeah. out and yeah. goes like apeshit. I like it. I like it. So wait, was that all of it? Or do we I have, think we have quirks uh, as well. Quirks. Tell us I about quirks. Yeah. Yeah. You just How spent five minutes quirks? talking about the quirks. Yeah, it's not. It's just stuff that you can make up an ad. Yeah, it's, uh, you're not choosing from a list. I mean, we're kind of already doing that. Yeah. yeah. Which you kind yeah. of already are doing it's this. Full. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the ship um, will come out during gameplay. Like, okay. just do you have an action while we're flying? Make up a part of the ship. Do it yeah. at that point. Like, yeah. it can become whatever it needs so, to be. I feel like part of the nature of the ship is that, uh, you know, because it's an anti grav situation, there is no like locked axis. So there will be mm -hmm. points when the fuselage of the bus is pointed directly downward and everybody mm -hmm. just has to hang Maybe on. Maybe that's how we collect yeah. garbage. That might be, Because yeah. we point the octopus down and right. the octopus goes down like, like a... Um, yeah, and then like a, puts things yeah. into the Yes, the, very yeah. much that, that bus. Motion. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so now I'm imagining like there's living spaces inside, but there's probably like furniture bolted to the walls and ceilings and yeah. stuff. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Wire is down. And is like hand bars. Hand right. Right. Yeah. 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 Or some netting but that we can just crawl the, around. The yeah. furniture is like um, dog beds that have been hollowed out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. so they, they don't have the stuffing in them anymore, but yeah. you can go inside the like sack and <laughs> mm -hmm. tie the, the thing close so you don't fall out. Good rack sacks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. yeah. And they've got they've got that like wet dog stank <laughs> because they were discarded in the yeah, natural. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. So they, they make a really really comfortable home for, for records. Yeah. 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 Although I have a coffin that was designed for infants. <laughs> but I'm sure good. Ah. Because, you know. Also bolted to the side. It's exactly. cozy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. it's not cozy at all, but it is like ultra lux it is <laughs> i think it's sort of the raccoon version of high class like nice. i think it's like this sleeping bag is made of mahogany <laughs> <laughs> basically glamping exactly yeah. so I'm like I that's that's the one for me i love that <laughs> <laughs> <Got her. laughs> breathe breathe it's gonna be fine <laughs> excellent <laughs> I'm going to keep saying things. <laughs> <laughs> Broke a real good. Okay. Off, off screen. Yeah, can I take a moment? Um, while you are gone, I will talk about uh, cards. Um, so, the other aspect, um, Ryan, you want to scoot those slightly up into into frame? Yeah, Jeez. give us a little example. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. So, uh, the other aspect, the sort of piece here, um, is these complication cards. Um, there are different pals for each scene, um, which we'll go through what they are in a moment. Um, and we, oh yes, and the X card. Um, and you can use complication cards as you play, um, not to get rid of problems, but to defer problems uh, as yeah. they come up. Um, so, uh, let's give Laura a moment and. <laughs> do you want to show an example of what these actually are? Oh yeah, do you want to flip one over? So they'll have a, a sort of a suit, mm -hmm. which is noise. Um, this, I think, just denotes the scene that they come from. Yeah. Please. And then there's text, which is 
sort of flavor text, but I think the the uh, invitation right. is to incorporate it into the scene in some yes. way. The assumed continuing narrative will contain this mm -hmm. detail. Yeah. Um, so let's, yeah, let's talk about gameplay then, kind of going in uh, order. So if somebody wants to drop a character sheet into the camera, um, we can talk about how to play the game. So within each scene, uh, there might be several turns. Um, the number of turns is going to depend on how much chaos happens, how many problems mount up, that sort of thing. Um, but in terms of gameplay, uh, what you do uh, is you say what you would like to accomplish on the turn. So it might be move the ship to the next neighborhood. It might be steal a thing from the hardware store that's right below us. Uh, it could be anything. Um, the sort of goals for each scene uh, will change depending on what the scene is and where you're at. Uh, and then you will choose one approach from the top of your character sheet. So those adjective tags at the top. Um, and then you roll your d12. Uh, so most of the time in kind of role-based games like this, ta -da, uh, you will like say what you want to do and then you roll to see how well you do the thing. Uh, that is not quite what happens here, which is you roll to figure out what action you end up taking. Uh, so all of these lists on the bottom. So there's 12 actions. Uh, you roll, your die tells you which action you take. Um, and if you roll an action that is tagged with the same tag that you called out when you started your turn. Mm -hmm. So you say, I'm going to use YOLO, roll your die. If you land on an action that is tagged with YOLO, that action is helpful. That means you get to do what you wanted to do. You incorporate what the action is. Um, I don't know what kits are off the top of my head, so like <coughs> manipulate something tricky. Um, so Kit will sort of combine with whatever he said he was going to do to start with that scene. It being a helpful action will then move the narrative forward. Things are good, hooray. If you instead roll, uh, as I did in the test session, an unhelpful action, uh, that just means you're rolling an action on that table that does not contain the tag that you called out at the top, uh, then that is an unhelpful action, and there are consequences to that. Uh, the ship and then the houses when we get there each have something called a problem track, which I think is being hidden by scene four cards at the moment. Yeah, yeah there it is. Um, so when you roll an unhelpful action, that means you have to mark in order on the problem track. Um, what this does is it um, adds not only a narrative element, so sort of describing how that problem impacts you all in the moment, um, but those problems will then build up. On the ship, for example, the last line on the problem track is the ship explodes. Mm. It w like whoops, that. it explodes. You have to go home. <laughs> you have failed. Um, now, you can defer the problem track by playing a complication card. So in each scene, uh, you will each have three in your hand. You can only play one card per scene. So you get to do this once per scene, not multiple times. Right, and then the problems start hitting us. Yeah, um, and the thing is, um, if you will just like flip over a couple complication cards, kind of take a look at um, what those look like. Um, so you'll see that in the top right, uh, they have a little tag, and those tags are assigned to different uh, numbers on the problem track. So I think the first one is Helm on the problem track, if yep. I'm remembering correctly. Okay, first oh, one no, is Helm. Second Number one is two. Helm. <coughs> first um, one is Straining. First one which, is Straining. Which doesn't have an associated card. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't have a suit. Um, so the thing is that if you have a complication card, if you put your complication card down, you're like, okay, I'm going to wipe out the unhelpful effects of this role. I'm going to actually do what I said I was going to do. It's going to be fine. Wait, is, the, is that how it works? That you still succeed? If you play a card? Yeah. So it, it, it rescues it and turns it into somehow helpful Got it. in that moment. Cool. So you get to do what you want it to do. Your action is helpful. Um, but what it means is you then have a complication card that lives forever on your table. And you can only play one complication card per scene. Mm -hmm. So if you then, the second time around the table, roll an unhelpful roll again, you are forced to mark on the problem track. You have no other option. Right. Um, the thing is that once you go to mark something on the problem track, if there are complication cards on the table that have tags on the problem track that have not yet been ticked, those have to also get ticked. You might be 
ticking those out of order. So you might be like, okay, I have to mark number one, and then I also have to mark number four. That's fine. The order, you know, matters in a way, but not for this reason. Um, but it means that if you put complication cards on the table, those then mount up and could all cascade at once, depending on how you roll. Sudden explosion. Sudden explosion. Mm -hmm. um, once we get to the house, the house rating portion, um, which is a couple of the scenes in the middle, um, we are running on the house problem track. So there is a little uh, bit of a chance uh, that you will get a break from the ship problems. <laughs> you know, you have a slight more chance to then <coughs> pause on that and hopefully get some trash and get home before it explodes. Um, but but that's the idea. So, so that, the houses have their own problem tracks. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. I see. So. I get what this symbol means now. This is the dumpster fire, which is yes. the name oh. of our ship. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. So the so suits. So there's, there's the problem track for for one of the houses. Yeah. So the suits are that dumpster fire, but then if you flip over one of the red ones, <coughs> it's got a house on it. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. it just means, you know, yeah. it, it's a house card or a ship. Double card. reminding you. Yeah. Which exactly. is which. Um, so. Uh, that is the that is the kind of basic gameplay. What those action lists are, um, how you use those attribute tags, um, and then on your turn, um, what you want to do kind of depends what the scene you're in. Um, but it is also essentially up to you. This is you are creating the narrative as you go. If you want to do something totally wild, uh, you're a raccoon. You are entitled to do that. Um, the other card I want to mention is the one that is uh, still left there, which is the X card, um, which this game conveniently hands you one, um, which is just a good safety tool um, for folks who are playing out there. Um, it's always a good idea to do a check-in and see if there are any kind of themes or things that uh, players don't want to touch upon in a game before you start playing, which we did off stream. Um, many of us have also played together, so there are certain, you know, once you get to know people, but it's still always good to have um, a method by which you can say, hey, I don't actually want to go there. Um, and then we can just kind of bleep, rewind and do something else in that moment. Um, so we have the X card on the table. If at any point somebody brings up something that someone else is like, eh, kind of uncomfortable about that at the moment. Don't, don't really put that, that octopus there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, tentacles. <laughs> um, then you can X card that and uh, we will and move on from there. So always good to have a safety tool. Mm -hmm. um, or talk about it at some point. Okay, the next section is to talk about the scenes that happen. Um, as I mentioned, this game is played through um, several different scenes. I went to find my URL. Okay, there it is. Dear so, <laughs> dear URL. Uh, I'm gonna drop in chat uh, another link. There we go. Uh, and this is a link to the possum powers. So this is things that people can do to mess up the raccoons on their path. And what those are depend on which scene we're in. So the overview of the scenes of the game, generally speaking, there's five. Um, one is fly the ship. You want to get out uh, of the junkyard across the neighborhoods and then find a house to land at. Use the neighborhoods map here. Neighborhoods map, beautiful. Aww. Um, two is board the house. Um, this is a short scene. Um, your goal is really just to moor your ship somewhere and to get inside the house. Uh, number three is steal trash. That's the main event. Um, this is the scene that you want to try to make as long as possible because you then can get more trash. Um, that's the one where you're working off the house problem track. Um, there are various things like waking up family pets, waking up humans, etc., that may get in your way. Uh, and then number four is escape. So either you hit the whole problem track and the humans are awake, or the possums come in and cause chaos, or something happens and you have to flee, um, or maybe you just get enough trash and you decide you're done. Probably not, though. Seems unlikely. Seems unlikely. <laughs> uh, and then you flee back across the neighborhood. We're on that to your set. Yeah, so, seriously. Let's we... go. <laughs> Hustle for the trash. Um, and then scene five, uh, there's no dice rolls. It's just a wrap-up scene to describe how you use your incredible trash haul uh, and make the lives of people in the junkyard better. So uh, those are, broadly speaking, uh, the scenes that we're going to work through. OK, um, I think I've talked a lot. And I think that we should start playing and see what Let's happens. Let's ride! Let's ride! OK. Yeah. Um, I believe gameplay starts with a person who last saw a raccoon That's in person. True. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have seen I, a raccoon recently. I haven't seen a raccoon in a long time. Uh, it's probably been a couple weeks for me. All right. 
It also could be somebody just saying, I want to go first, and then you go Don't first. Don't tell me I'm the most YOLO. recent raccoon You may be the most spotter. recent kind of sounds spotter. like you are, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with the newbie. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, so, yeah, we are, ship is in the junkyard. Um, for this scene, essentially what you are trying to do is move the ship um, to another neighborhood. Um, you don't have to go in a straight line. You don't have to, you know, <coughs> pick a house that you want to go to immediately. Three right. adjacent spots um, here. And you can also use turns while you were in this scene, um, rather than moving the ship, to instead steal stuff from the neighborhood that you're in. Yeah, there's a list of actions, right? That, that are that, sort of go with well. It's basically that. List, list is a little too grand. There's yeah. two. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like Does the, one of the options happen to be steal some shit from yeah. the place? Yeah. yeah, so so one of the things you can do, the, these are the things you can do on your turn in the first scene, is move the ship on the map, uh, snag some trash, uh, or deal with unforeseen consequences, which oh, makes okay. it. We never I, did that before. I believe I that is on... That in part, part of our learning curve. Here in the dumpster fire, there was descriptions with each of these things that describes mm. the unforeseen circumstance that mm. we're supposed to fucking deal mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. that we never did. Mm -hmm. okay. We never did. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we, yes, we have things that we need to work on. All right. So am I moving the ship to like an adjacent space or yes. just anywhere on the map? Yeah, yeah. An no, adjacent space. space. Any adjacent space. Okay. Well, I'm thinking the electrical substation because mm. <laughs> who doesn't love to knock out everyone's so power? Before we move, you do have to roll. Oh. You have to, so you have to declare how you're going to do it, and you pick one of your uh, attributes. Okay. And you say, I'm going to you know, use it cunning or whatever. To Well, in a deft way, I would like <laughs> to order the ship moved off to the electrical substation. <laughs> Great. And then you roll. Let me see if it's helpful. Uh, two. So inspire Ooh. other raccoons or conspicuously lead the way. Perfect. So I think Amazing. this is a kind Which of thing. Which includes deft. Yeah. yeah. So it's like... I don't know, 11 o'clock at night here, you know, the sun's been down for a couple hours. We've all had a chance to, you know, give, get up, you know, eat a cup of coffee grounds and <laughs> just start our day. And so I think I see, you know, the moon starting to rise in the sky, which could be a problem for us later. And so finish with my motivational tapes, take out my little... Tape recorder, which does not have a battery in it, but I don't know the difference. And it's like tchotchkes. People love tchotchkes. Brick a brac, knickknacks. People love them. Remember that. And that's just for me. I sort of tuck it in my, my pocket. And I say, all right, boys and girls, let's rock. And I uh, then just run over to, to the dumpster fire and just get in a really undignified way, just scurrying and scrambling <laughs> at the edge until eventually I squeeze myself through this hole. How, how do we launch? How do we launch the dumpster inside? fire? Well, I, I don't think, know. I think it's just tethered. Like, like the, so the anti-grav is <laughs> always yeah. Oh, so it's always, yeah. 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 So, so we just, just have if to If it's not tied it. down, it's going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's less of an anti-gravity machine and more of just a chunk of rock. We right. found a piece of anti gravity, <laughs> and yeah. we installed it in the bottom of the ship. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. occasionally it flips over. <laughs> it's like terrifying <laughs> death up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrifying death up. So uh, put it on the box. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've hit the hit the substation. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, it's my turn. Yeah. 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 Play oh, goes no. round. Are there Teslas at the substation? <laughs> I don't think there are going to be Teslas at the substation. Yeah, I don't think Maybe. they. I don't think they pay utility workers no. that yeah. well. <laughs> the office buildings say. don't have fucking Maybe Teslas. The office buildings. No, it's eleven o'clock at night. Okay, electrical substation. I mean, God, that spool of wire looks real good. There is a golf course next to us. So if you're, if you're looking for a Tesla, it might be Go, parked overnight. Mm, okay. I have been mm. meaning to improve my golf game. <laughs> <laughs> that spool of wire. We have the whole octopus thing and the spool of wire, and I could really use a spool of wire. It's going to come in real handy with my plans with the Tesla. Sure. More wire. I think we need more wire. We can go for more wire. Makes sense. Okay. I'm going to use my inventive powers to go for more wire. There's a big spool of wire, and we're going to get it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Here we go. Wow. Well, I rolled an 11, which is cunning, not inventive. Mm. Reveal that things are not what they seemed. So, so <laughs> when we designed the ship, when we put the ship together with the cavorite, 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 thank you, that causes it to float, um, 
I, I worked very hard, and I made other raccoons work very hard to ensure that the uh, lifting mechanism to retrieve things from the ground was going to be functional. Now, I didn't know exactly what the word functional meant, but I had heard it so many times. And so it turns out that the lifting mechanism, which is this beautiful spool of rope that I found, is firmly bolted to the side of the ship. It does not spin. <laughs> so it looked, it looked so good. God, it looked good. <laughs> That's, that retrieval mechanism looked fantastic. But it turns out that it doesn't do anything. So the nice thing about that design is that it's going to stay looking good. Yeah. It stays looking yeah. good forever. It's going to stay it's looking look so good. Yeah. Exactly. Decorative. Looks like day one. Always. Perfect. Yeah. It's amazing. So are you going to mark a problem or use a complication card? Well, let me look at my complication cards, aren't I? Yeah, take a look at yeah. your complication cards. See what your options are. You can only use one of them. Yeah. For the next scene, we draw only ones from the other pile. A, a peek beneath the hood for anyone who's curious. When we're rolling these D12s, it's essentially a 50% chance that we're going to hit the trait that we called. So every, every action has an equal chance of success or failure. Pretty good for raccoons. Yeah? Yeah. 50-50? <laughs> I think I'm going to play this one, which is there's just nothing holding those two parts of the ship together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's just... Nothing holding those two parts of the ship together, I thought which our will ship be was tightly fastened. You thought, you but thought. I believe mm -hmm. Marissa just it revealed was. things were not as they seem. I, I am doing that. Yes, um, <laughs> we are hard to steer. I'm going to say that our 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 steering mechanism, mechanism which was based on house fans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they don't spin like they were supposed to exactly. Uh, some of them just fall off. So yeah. yeah. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. So you do not move. We do not move. And you have a complication. I Wait, I thought since no, no, since I was trying to retrieve. card was played. Yes, thank you. Oh, so I did get my it, coil. Of, oh, I got my coil. Of yeah. yeah. So it, yeah. Right. it defers. Did. It defers the unhelpfulness. Right. Yes, that is true. Coil of wire. So write down coil of wire. Uh, there is a complication waiting to be a problem. Right. Yeah. Spool of wire is mine. Great. You ready? Up. Fuck yes. <laughs> Let's see. Between the uh, one day shipping warehouse, the golf course, the Opossum Woods, the office building, storage lockers. I mean, the course. thing is, is that a golf course is just so big. <laughs> and at this time of night, there's just like a lot of, you can kind of buzz it, kind of buzz like right over the ground, yeah. so we can kind of come in real low. Uh, which excites Rabies Eddie to kind of like be on a big moving ship moving that fast, that close to the yeah, ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so if you're going to teen wolf it on the upside down of a floating death ball, golf course is really where you want to show off. Uh, which sounds to me kind of YOLO. I'm going to say YOLO. I'm going to say YOLO. Uh, fucking golf course. Oh, Ooh. Oh, wow. Fire the ship's weapons. Make a trash. Make a weapon from trash. Uh, that does have the YOLO trait. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Rabies Eddie is uh, pretty excited for tonight. Uh, it's a, uh, possibly the fact that Vibrissa is excited, wants to do this thing. Uh, the moon is rising, so there's kind of a cool ethereal glow. And uh, green is a color that excites Rabies Eddie, uh, even though that doesn't make any sort of sense for humans. Green is his amp color. Uh, so, yeah, the sight of that golf course uh, 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 makes him explode all the guns at once uh, <laughs> as we go through this green manicured space. Uh, so, yeah, we YOLO our way through the golf course. Beautiful. All right, uh, Kit is up with the, the Helms, Helms Coon, Helms, Helms, Helms Rack. Coon. Um, Captain. And uh Captain. We're Captain McCaptain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sees all of the uh I think we, we have a really good vantage from the golf course, so we can see a lot of these properties that we might be able to uh to thieve from soon. Mm -hmm. So Kit is going to use his sensitivity and say, I really love you guys. 
You're doing so well. And uh, try to uh, compel the crew to further movement. We'll see how it goes. I got a six. Yeah, I'm okay. manipulating something tricky, which is other people's lives and emotions. <laughs> uh, and it is a sensitive uh, trait on my sheet. Uh, so we are going to move. Good to know I'm the only one failing so far. That's, I feel good. Welcome to my role. No, I know. I think I may have taken your role. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll go to the big box store, which is conveniently located between the farmland and a uh, four car garage. So we've got some options. There might be a Tesla in one of those garages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Four car garage. Or car a garage. really successful farmer. Or, no. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Come on. It's possible. Yeah, it, it's the future. A far <laughs> off, distant future where no shade somehow. No to farmers, all shade to capitalism. Humanity, <laughs> humanity yes. won in this future. <clears throat> so we're floating That's, over the, the big box store? Yeah, this mm -hmm. is the so Wall Marge. Wall Marge. Um, I should say there is also um, lists in the back here of various um, trash that might be in different places. If anybody needs mm. okay. inspiration, inspiration for trash, um, feel free to take a look at this. Is Tesla in there? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll check. Not, not an exhaustive You don't have to. <laughs> well, you know, it's yeah. Kara's turn. I don't so know I think I that. realized that just a moment ago, uh, Kit used the uh, subliminal salesmanship <laughs> techniques <laughs> that I've been trying to teach everyone. I'm like, Cunning bastard. <laughs> Good on them. Okay, big box store. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Time is money. And uh, I look down at this place, and uh, I think I want to steal a car that's in the parking lot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, um, and I want to do it in a stylish way, yeah. because let's, let's show people yeah. who's boss around <laughs> here. I like it. I like it. I like it. So what did we get? We got a five. Uh, uh, oh. oh, well, stylish is the one thing that this isn't. <laughs> okay. So I do not do something helpful. But what is your action? Uh, cut something or tie something together. Okay. So I think um, I have the idea that since the sort of anchor hook thing we were using wasn't really working, um, I'm going to take a long line of those little plastic monkeys and also <laughs> like some like safety harnesses and stuff and sort of lasso it and try to like lasso this car. And then I just fasten it to something and I'm like full speed ahead and probably that tears a sizable chunk of our ship off because it's just not attached to anything. Are you playing a problem card or are we going to take a problem track? Uh, Keeping in mind that if we take a problem track, we would have to hit rivets as well as straining. Right. So we would hit straining and rivets. We'd have two problems. A, a Wait, power... can we start at the beginning of the problem track? So yes. Just, yeah. you, you, so your thing would be to hit straining. But because we have this complication card out here that is rivets, we would oh. also have to hit rivets. I see. Well, now that the, seems... The power gamer play, if you've got a card that also matches that suit, stick to rivets. Right. We can yes. Well, I the do, further. in fact, have a rivets card. Perfect. So yeah. I'm going to oh, play yes. that. So a strong wind threatens to tear the whole ship apart. <laughs> Fuck yes. So, cool. But we do, cool, in cool, fact, cool, 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 cool. get the vehicle. By doing that, your action becomes yes. helpful. So you do get to do what you want to do. So you get your car. So, yeah, what I think of, probably what, a chunk comes off of the ship, but, you know, we, we get our car. car is it? Yeah. Is it just a car? <laughs> it's a Tesla. You know it's a Tesla. In the big box store. <laughs> I does, don't, that, <laughs> does that mean that, no, that's not your personal goal. That's the thing you want to steal. My personal goal is find just the thing for your next project. Mm, well, debatable. What's the thing, one thing you want to steal that could improve life in the junkyard is a Tesla. Sounds like double I'm dipping, but I'm not the dungeon kind of master, thing. so. <laughs> it's a dungeon master. <laughs> we just did this game's it's equivalent <laughs> of min-maxing, so right, fuck it. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could only get so wet in Raccoon oh, Town. Oh no, yeah. an 18100 strength. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
that was the thing that I had in mind for my next project. I mean, yeah. that was, yeah. you, you know, did that say was, that. You did yeah. say that. I just, I don't see any reason to steal a car and not have it be a test. Like, <laughs> you know, allowed to choose. I may yeah. as well allow you to enhance your abilities. So, can it tell me what I do now? We didn't get to this part in the playtest. We didn't get to this part in the playtest at all. Okay, so when you uh, get your personal goal, what you get to do is uh, one of two things. You can either change the text on one of your actions, mm -hmm. so you can make it something else. Um, although it would have to be the same level of broadness same to attributes. apply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can leave all of the text of the actions the same, but you can add one of your attributes to one of the actions that do not have all three. Oh, ah, nice. So you could, example, you could add YOLO to you know number three, where right. it's just cunning, yeah. um, which just ups your chances slightly of rolling. Right. It means you have. I assume you can't do that to a twelve. I would guess not. That's probably not. Yeah, I think that does Otherwise, not. Otherwise, you will, don't have a failure roll. Yeah, I will double right. check, but I'm pretty sure that applies to everything except the 12. Yeah. Well, in, in the spirit of the game, I don't want to ruin the failure roll. It's <laughs> fair. The failure fair. roll is the best part. It's the one main we won't max. Uh, yes, you can never change action number 12 or add any tags to it. Okay. So that one stays the same always. That's I'm, fascinating that you can reprogram one of the 12 and yeah. one of the 11. I think... Very interesting. Hmm. I want to be more inventive, so I'm going to add inventive to one of my things. But which one? Desperately I think I'm trying to compute what that probability would be now. <laughs> <laughs> Do the math, Tad. Yeah. Well, I'm, so I'm going to add, so I will show on the little camera thing here. These are my actions, which are manipulate something tricky. Use the ship's car, home appliance, or carnival ride in an unexpected way, which is already inventive. Uh, use trash for something clever. Eh, yeah. uh, raccoon rocket, tempting. 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 Build a Rube Goldberg machine to do a thing already inventive. Use a machine to make something frighteningly easy or to empower another raccoon is all three. Invent something new out of trash, all three. Harness a force raccoons were not meant to meddle with, all, already inventive. Bash on something, doesn't feel inventive. Uh, if it doesn't fit, force it is already inventive. So I think that reveal things that are not what they seemed is my new inventive action. Heck yeah. That seems right. Excellent. It's greater than 50%, but less than 60%. Thanks. 58.4, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Get that in the right. chat. Sorry. Calculate. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Come on. This. Someone fucking check yeah. that, please. That sounds right. <laughs> now I want to know. Yeah, that sounds right. Critique our math maybe, skills maybe live on air. Seven. So you just went. I did. Yeah. So it is your Which turn. Which means it is my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're in the Walmarge. Yes. Uh, sure are. Not. But we're only one square from the 1980s house if I had two Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's better than one Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> we have so Follow many arms. Follow your dreams, Vibrissa. <laughs> How many arms can we hang a Tesla on? <laughs> so many. You need a Tesla for each tentacle. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think the 1980s house is going to be the choice because I'm thinking there was probably only one Tesla. Let's be clear in Walmart. Eh? Um, it was the regional manager. <laughs> they were just stopping oh, by yeah. to check no, things no, out. That, was, that was absolutely the regional manager, <laughs> and his mustache is so bristling right now. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Just watching the Tesla fly away in a very uh -huh. anti gravity. Like yeah. a cat's tail, that mustache. Just <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is that how that works? Yeah. I, I think it is. So. Now. Yeah, no, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this universe, yeah, it is. Someone we've with made mustaches, made tell me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, great. Thank well, you. Yeah. No, they, no, they bristle biology. like fuck. They have filaments yeah. in their mustache, you know? They control it. It's like a spider's legs, it's hydraulic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's a horrific mutation. <laughs> you kill a business owner, his mustache has actually shrinks into exactly. his face it, it, because it, the hydraulic pressure has finally yeah, loosened yeah. up. Exactly. Into the yeah. pores. It's awful. The mustache just curls around the mouth <laughs> like a fucking predator. The big <laughs> big problem in there. And there yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just like a single lipped predator uh -huh. on, the, on the x axis. Yeah, no, that's. This world building is. Distressing. Top this yeah. is distressing. That's on page twelve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna game. move toward the 1980s house with a four-car garage because there might be another Tesla in the four-car garage. I'm going to use inventive 
two, two, right. two, because I have a better chance now. Benefit is only if he names the right traits. Yes. That yes. might mess with the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same. Yeah. OK, I'm gonna, I got to yeah, read through a, the math before I say anything about this, because I don't know. Bust out the actuarial table. Yeah. Please, what I know, it out. I don't know what this math is you people are talking about. What I know <laughs> is that I have added inventive, which means I have more inventives than I had before. That's accurate. Right. And so that I'm going to use so inventive. That's true. A thousand yeah. percent. You should Actually, do that. So I'm going to use inventive. I believe you inventive. inventive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inventively, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find those fans that fell off. I'm going to find the positions where the fans fell off mm -hmm. because they weren't actually attached like they should have been. And I'm going to take the other fans off, and I'm going to put them there. But I'm going to actually attach them this time inventively using Wait, did you already roll? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. I've got to figure out how I'm being inventive. I see. I think I'm going to use. Um, 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 packing tape. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be packing tape. Cool. I rolled a nine, which is not inventive. Oh, no! no. <laughs> and you can't put on a complication card. I cannot. Because you've already done it. Oh, so our rivets just got busted. <laughs> our rivets just oh, got that's, busted. So that's real bad. <laughs> my, my action is bash on something. Yep. So this is a YOLO action. It does not fit inventive which makes me incredibly sad because inventive is important to me. Um, <laughs> however, when I discover that the fans do not actually attach properly with the packing tape, mm -hmm. the packing tape is not sufficient to the task for some reason, I think I go back and I look at the other fans that are now, because we had this imbalance of fans, things were, weren't set up quite right. So I think I just go back and I bash on one of the fans trying to get it to stop turning mm -hmm. so that we just we, we don't have this like curving path going on mm -hmm. and that does not actually help and as a result we're now straining the ship's rivets might pop at any moment in fact mm. yeah and, and rivets a and piece of the ship the falls out it looks like it was probably important to describe what happens mm. what well depends. so it turns out that there was just nothing holding these two parts of the ship together. And there's a strong wind that is threatening to ship, shake the whole ship apart. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. think that at this point, we've lost the galley. I think we've lost our food and our kitchen. Mm. And we're and incredibly our sad. And our cook. Oh, no. <laughs> just like, Yer! <laughs> I was supposed to be held on with snacking tape. <laughs> the snacking tape was insufficient to the task. <laughs> and the only red panda that could cook was in that galley. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, and I had to ruin it. Or Wally. Oh, oh Wally. Yeah. Well, Rip. we've lost the galley. I'm sorry. Yeah. And our friend. Yeah. And our friend. F in the chat for Wally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do not move, and the ship is do not move. rattling. The yeah. ship is rattling. <laughs> we lost a Wally. And we lost Wally. That's OK. All That's right, Rabies Eddie, take us home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rabies Eddie, uh, seeing that we're hesitating and seeing that he's getting down to the end of his flares uh, <laughs> that he's been holding on to screaming for the last 12 minutes, um, doesn't want to light a new pair. Uh, and really, really, really just wants to bring this home into someone else's home. Uh, so uh, uh, he's going to, uh, um, he would call it willpower, uh, but other people would probably call it aggressive. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's going to enact some willpower on the ship, aggressively. With a four. Attacking someone, anyone. <laughs> Sounds aggressive. <laughs> Was it aggressive? Uh, it is aggressive. Um, there you go. You might be shocked to find. Uh, uh, yes, when, uh, uh, when Rabies Eddie attacks someone, it's usually anyone, and it's certainly aggressive. Yeah. Um, Wait, yeah. What were you trying to do again? Make the ship move. Oh, oh yeah, we're, we're moving the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. By, by attacking someone, by, obviously. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. as, yeah, yeah, as, as you do. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. I see no problems. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, Eddie 
got, uh, uh, saw what uh, Vibrissa was trying to do with one of the fans that wasn't working. Uh, and then there was hitting involved. Yeah. The end of the hitting. It seemed like that what you were getting somewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that's not really your milieu. Uh, that's more my thing. Uh, 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 so I get out to the outside of the ship um, and try hitting the fans, but in the direction that they're already rotating. Oh, okay. Uh, and actually getting a really good rhythm going so that it, uh, it just kind of skitter steps this way, uh, increasing the rotational velocity, a thing that Rady yeah. Eddie has no concept of. Uh, <laughs> but it does get us to come in on a nice, fun, zigzaggy entrance, leaving a nice little path of destruction into, I'm going to say, their backyard. So you didn't succeed. You did. I did. Or no, you did succeed. I Never did. Mind. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Brain. 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 Good. 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 So that takes us to the next scene. That is the end of scene one. Congratulations, scene everyone. One. Turn in your complication wow. cards. Leave the ones that are out, out. But Kit chitters excitedly. Um, exceptional. All right. We are moving on to scene two, which is boarding the house. Boarding the house. Land ho. Uh, yes, that is the house if you want to move okay. it over to there. Um, it is a two sheet house because there's two, two floors. Whoa. I know. Uh -huh. That's oh. complex. Ice time. Big ups. Big ups for the house. One floor for each pair of cars. <laughs> I know. Uh, so this is a short scene. Um, what you, all you need to do in this scene is moor the ship park the ship or somehow prevent it from fully crashing into the house and destroying the house before you have a chance to get all the trash. Easy. Um, and then deal with any unforeseen, or no, sorry, find a way to get into the house is point two, and then deal with any unforeseen consequences that Got occur. It. Uh, but mainly all you need to do in this scene is tie the ship down, get into the house. For professionals, um, should be and fine. And I believe we're yeah. starting with Kit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so Kit is the littlest raccoon and will, uh, try to sneakily scurry down a dangling tentacle and then try to tie it off um, probably to a gutter of this of this house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Love it. like a downspout. Yeah. With, with yeah. what? Uh, oh, thing? sneaky. Ah, yes. uh, uh, but no, six <gasps> is a sensitive, manipulating something tricky. So I think oh, Kit no. is so focused and sneaky uh, he ties a really good, elaborate knot on the end of this tentacle. Mm -hmm. And it's only after completing this really elaborate knot that he realizes it's not actually tied to the house. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Um, I've done that before. Yeah. 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 It's, it's easy to do. Here. It's easy. You know, I, I was so into that knot. It was good. It was a good knot. Mm -hmm. And only one side. Well, I mean, that's why it was so good. It's not so good it'll hold both sides. I feel One of them like... non Euclidean knots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't really want to play any of these, so I think we're just going to take the hit. We're going to start on the problem track. Oh my. I have a theory that this is a power gamer move. Because we haven't played any problem cards yet, it's theoretically less painful to take the first hit until the problem cards are out. So that we don't actually have any. So that they don't Additional stack hits. on us. Gotcha. Get in the comments, talk about the <laughs> yeah. Wreck the Sky Pirates meta and yeah. what is used by you know, all the professionals. Critique my strat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's already a Reddit thread going. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So we, uh, we are, we not, are not, not tethered. We are right. not, not yet tethered. anchored. All right. Okay. Yeah. Brisket Jack. So we're all right. still floating. So still. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around. I'm going to hear this tremendous racket as Kit is, you know, tying this knot. I'm going to look around at the just <laughs> section right behind my office that just looks out into empty space now because it's an fallen off. Of, of course I do. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, I just wanted to have you have that reaction. So yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a quote a day calendar. Um, from, you know, Stole a Philofax for him one time. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm just like, got to say, this is not synergy. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm going to try to tie this ship down myself, and I'm going to do it in a deft way. Show them all how it's done. Mm -hmm. That's a good choice. Two! Yeah. Excellent. Ooh, which is it's different. exactly the same thing I rolled the last time. Inspire other raccoons or conspicuously lead the way. Excellent. And so I turned to everyone and was like, 
All right, listen up. Ever been Boy Scouts? Me neither. But this is how you do it. <laughs> Got to, you know, we're one of these. I call them loopy loops. So that's the technical term. And I, so yeah, I take a bunch of bungee cords and just, you know, jump down, lead the, lead the crew down, and start hot, tying them. Hot rope the down. I love it. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. I rappel out of this yeah. octopus fully. Just rabies, Eddie. Just kind of Chris Evans the fucking <laughs> ship to the house while you're lassoing this shit up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and then I I attach uh, the other end of the bungee cord to uh, the large, um, like, human-sized leather armchair that I have in my office. Yeah. I just like to curl up in. So. Brilliant. I can perfectly picture Rabies Eddie, like, fingernails scrabbling. <laughs> 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 they separate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yelling things like, good hustle, Rabies Eddie, giving 110%. <laughs> Stocks. <laughs> Stocks. Stocks. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I, just, I, just, I read it on a thing. So we're tethered. We're tethered. We're tethered. Your second goal for we're the scene attached. is to find so, a way in. Yeah, now we need find a point a of ingress. In. Yes. So we're looking. Oh, I want that garage. Because uh, more Teslas is more better. But <laughs> I don't think the garage is the right way in because I think that yeah, these. There's no attached door according to the blueprints. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it's an exterior door. Well, we don't know that. We can't see that. We can't see that. Whoever designed this place. It's the sunken family room. The sunken family room screws everything up. And then you have to have to walk. No, yeah. it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. So, in any case, I'm looking at the upstairs here, thinking that there's going to be some vents and shit by the bathroom. In fact, I think there's an open window in the bathroom. So I'm going to go for the open window, and I'm going to try and lodge it, like wedge it open, so that it can't be closed on us accidentally. It's one of these. So it's a 1980s house. It's one of these things that's like an aluminum frame window mm -hmm. that's got the little er, fold out. Oh, yeah. With frosted yeah. glass in it, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's going to be our entrance. It's going to be the frosted glass window. Nice. We're going to do it. I'm going to use inventive to do this because I'm more inventive now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better chances. A one. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Is. Mm -hmm. Not invented. No. No. I have taken your mantle. <laughs> Congratulations. Every role is unhelpful. This was me last week. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this. Okay, so I manipulate something tricky. Um, what I do is I go up to this window. It is perfectly obvious to me how this window works. I know precisely the mechanism that this thing uses. And I carefully manipulate the latch and release the little catch that should just cause it to lock permanently open. And it goes, thunk, <laughs> and it's closed. So I rappel down to that roof for nothing. Just fuck all. I'm just, I'm sitting on the roof going, oh. Just like, so, get it together, Vibrissa. Do you exactly. want to wake up the Daug or? Uh, Play a complication card. <sighs> I know. It's tricky. I was imagining that scene three was going to be the big one, but it kind of depends on <laughs> how we do in scene two. We're struggling two. in scene two. Yeah. <laughs> <Honestly. laughs> Doing great. I think. What's the next thing? Is the, the, the dog? Yeah. yeah. Next one's pet. Human is number three. Could be an iguana. Uh, it's, I'm thinking like yeah. a bunch of cockatoos. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Just pretty bird. Oh, pretty bird. fucking the loud scream! Oh, no. A horde of screaming <laughs> wings. I mean, to be fair, if it is. A bird of any kind, you could probably just put the thing back over the cage and they would come back to sleep. Yeah, exactly. I keep failing. I don't really want to fail. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the pet. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You know what they say? A failure is just an opportunity. Wearing socks. <laughs> Is that what they say? Cool. That's, that, good that's what I say that's to what you. Karen no, says that's, in no, that's perfect. That's, that's <laughs> exactly right. Or brisket jack instead of brisket jack. I'm is playing a, yeah. my character. You I are. don't. I don't so, think these uh, insane things. I have normal <laughs> thoughts in the, my head in real life. The window slams shut with a loud noise, and the loud noise wakes up the dog, and the dog makes some barks. This is not good. I'm not happy about this situation. I kind of retreat up the up the roof, and I look for the chimney. Is there a chimney here? That's got to be, that's yeah, got to be. Like, that looks like a fireplace. Fireplace, yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm, family room? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. huddled next to the chimney. I'm out of the way. 
strategically, this now means we can all play pet complications, and since pet is already marked, it does. You right. won't have to remark it. Won't it. Be, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, it won't be as bad. Strategery. Nice. That's thinking. There it is. That's a power gamer move. There, yeah, fucking <laughs> If you don't give us numbers, we'll find something <laughs> to improve. Got to get that crunch somewhere. It's the best possible and anything. <laughs> mm, right there. Um, all right. In the chat, tell us about the character tier list. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Did you put links to the character sheets? Yeah. Uh, oh no! I should do that. Yeah. Because there's list, there's links to the character sheets into the maps that people mm -hmm. can just see oh. that are on the the Hector Life on We'll drop page. that in the right now. Yeah. Do right. we have an active chat? Is there things going on? Cool. Let's still double checking that map. Yeah. <laughs> we really made a strategic blunder by telling them to check the map. Now that's all they'll be doing. It's like, it's Saturday night. They're not even going to donate. They're just going to be checking the map. Okay. Okay. So we've had a tough early chapter to our story yeah, of are not getting all the great shit from this place. And that's, are not going great. that's fine. Sometimes life is tough, but that's why... You have an energetic cheerleader uh, like Rabies Eddie around uh, to light something on fire and find a reason to set something on fire. Um, <laughs> and I think looking around at options of flammability and you know just really what's available, um, I think uh, Eddie is thinking that if we have to make noise to get in here, because at this point there's already a dog making noise, yep. so if we're gonna make noise, we might as well make noise now while we have a, you know, kind of a, a white noise machine uh, going off on the inside. Uh, so we swing over to the garage, uh, and Eddie is going to get into a one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one fist fight with the garage door, <laughs> uh, which Good. I believe is finding a reason to go berserk. Mm. Yeah. Um, ah, very nice. Which is a goal of the personal varietal. Very nice. Um, Let's nice. see how you do. So I'm going to say uh, that this one is YOLO uh, because um, Garage Door has been on his list of things to fight. Mm -hmm. uh, and he hasn't gotten a chance to check it off his uh, list. his Marshall yeah. bucket list. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. that makes yeah. So, if yeah. this is a successful roll, then that is absolutely a personal goal. Yeah, he's got to spin the wheel. That's a one, which again is um, firing ship's weapons or <laughs> making a weapon from trash. Uh, I'm going to say mm -hmm. that uh, I like although I like it. Rabies Eddie is a um, excitable individual uh, they have honor um, and they're not going to bring <laughs> ship weapons to a garage door fight uh, so instead what Rabies Eddie does is uh, yeah. that he makes a battering ram from a uh, one of those Fisher Price kind of Volvo cars mm. one of those little <laughs> yeah. beetle yeah, yeah, yeah. little sure. red and yeah. yellow beetles uh, yeah he basically turns that into the wolf's head battering ram from uh, two towers uh, and he just kind of goes grunt, ape shit. Grunt, yeah, grunt, exactly. Grunt. Uh, and goes ape shit on that garage door and gets us into the good stuff. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe gonna, a Tesla. Just going to add Rabies Eddie into the area. That's yeah, such a big mini. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's just a small, this is actual size. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, oh, I love it. That is. Oh, it's aspirational size, I'm, I'm actually. Up here, I'm up here in the roof. Uh, that is the end of scene two. Um, you are cool, cool. you have an egress or ingress point rather into the house. Um, I think we're piling scene two and three on top of each other. So. No. Oh, scene three there. Never mind. You're so ahead of me. Tomorrow. I love it. Um, it is eight twenty three, so I think it makes sense to take our little break in between scenes two and three. Okay. Um, given that scene five is just a little more of a wrap up, so we're more or less halfway through. Um, yeah. That also could change at any moment, depending on how your roles go. Yeah. <laughs> it really could. So who knows really, really could. Uh, numerically where we're at, um, but me about halfway through. Um, so let's go ahead and take 10. Uh, so folks watching, um, you know, go bio break, get a drink, do what you want to do. 
um, think about uh, throwing some complications our way. And we will see you back here in 10 minutes. Woo!
and welcome back everybody it is time for part two yeah. uh scene three those numbers don't don't worry about it we're back we're gonna play some more games um <laughs> i'm doing great uh <laughs> so if you are joining us um after the break which is now uh we have played the first two scenes of raccoon sky pirates um, our raccoons have just tethered their anti-gravity octopus tentacle ship mm -hmm. yep, uh, to a, a two-story 1980s house with a four-car garage, um, which hopefully contains a Tesla. Uh, and Ravy Eddie has just knocked down the garage door in an impressive display of YOLO. Mm -hmm. uh, well, now we have an ingress point uh, and all raccoons can go in. Um, so we're in scene three. The goal here is to steal trash. Um, that is your primary goal. Um, get as much trash as possible. Um, you can steal something from the house. Uh, you can move to a new room. If doing so seems challenging enough to warrant a roll, um, which I read to mean like if it's sort of an open floor plan and you wanna move from living room to dining room, whatever, that's fine. If it seems like there would be a closed door or maybe a locked door, that would be a role you would want to, you know, face a challenge for that. Um, so, you know, use your judgment on that. Um, you can also take a stolen item to the ship if doing so seems challenging enough to warrant a role again. Um, if it seems like it could just sort of happen and be fine, so you don't need to roll for that. You can just assume that it happens without a hitch and we're fine. Um, and then deal with unforeseen consequences obviously, um, and also foreseen consequences, which are things on the problem tracker. Um, we have already on the problem tracker woken up the dog. Um, so there may be consequences around that in terms of needing to uh, avoid the dog or corral the dog or, I don't know, persuade the dog to stand down, whatever. There's a lot of options here. You could kind of do whatever you want. There may be sacrifices involving large hunks of meat. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do want a large Where's hunk of Jack? meat. I mean... Oh, I'm not going to get weird, but a dog <clears throat> could also be a large chunk of meat. Um, Whoa, this we're is getting, true. We're in dark here <laughs> Sky Pirates. Eddie can find many reasons to go berserk. Um, <laughs> That's yeah. true, and, and needs more of them. Dog needs is more fine. Of them. Yeah. Um, Listen, oh, I don't way, care where it comes from. I'm not a hippie. It's you not. did complete your goal. Yeah. Um, which you means your, that you can add, add one of your level tags level? to it. Or, or do you want to change one to of your actions to be a different thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, right. Because right. you've got those options. You can do those things now. Yeah. So take a take a moment to think about that. Um, the, the sort of end conditions of this scene um, are one of two things. One, the residents find you, and each of you has made one more role to describe how you get out of the house and back on the ship. Um, so that we get to that point when the humans wake up and we're on problem four right. on that tracker, panic. which is panic. Um, or after thoroughly ransacking the house somehow without waking the humans, you decide you have enough loot. I cannot imagine that that would actually happen <laughs> knowing this game and y'all and your raccoons. I figure you will just ransack until you are found. Yep. So, yep. yes, that's... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to find Dad's ham radio shack and just and go, go to town. Just go for it. <laughs> I'm going to go to town on that shit. I love that. Um, okay, so I think that... The last thing was Ravy's Eddie breaking it, so it is yeah. Kit's turn uh, at the start of scene three. All right, uh, so Kit's looking at this garage. Uh, at the back corner here, I think, is you know tools and, and cabinets and such. And at the top, uh, where the ceiling meets the wall, there might be a little uh, structural weakness. Mm. Uh, so Kit is going to use YOLO, which for Kit actually stands for, you ought to look out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my god. And. Oh, no, no, no. That's a 12. That did not succeed, good. however. 12 is always good. Now, if I no, play a card off a 12, will it still work? Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the only, the only thing <coughs> that 12 is immune to is the level up right. change. Right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to play a pet card, which we power which gamed our way sensible. into uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. a pretty safe bet. Uh, it's eerily Ooh. quiet. quiet. So as Kit scampers up the tool bench and then the cabinet and then starts pushing uh, against this upper corner, it finally gives way and then just makes an enormous clatter and crumple as uh, we have a little hole into the, the sunken, sunken family room. room. Family room. Nice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. As it should be. Excellent. Interesting. Okay. Well, it sounds like there's now a way into the sunken family room. Mm -hmm. um, 
I want to rush in there and look for those self-improvement tapes. Kenna, that I've been what looking might for. we find in a sunken family room? Mm. Do you want some? Um, <laughs> we, can we, we break should, you off some trash? Get some, some descriptions of what's, what might be in there. All right, uh, living room slash den, which I'm going to assume is what this is. Yeah. Some things you might find in there: uh, drone quadcopter, <laughs> noise canceling <laughs> headphones, PlayStation Five. Ah, PlayStation Five. <laughs> um, I tried to steal that. And then play test it didn't go well. Um, <laughs> hoverboard, Oculus VR headset, Nerf gun, oversized blanket or hoodie, handheld vacuum slash dust buster. There are so many TMs on this list. It's just yeah, a TM down the line. Uh, a dog squeaky toy, potentially a dog. Yeah. Uh, Roomba vacuum cleaner, video doorbell, liquor cabinet with liquor, Alexa smart speaker, giant flat screen TV, lazy boy recliner, and GoPro camera with mount. Uh, there are just lists. some ideas. And just some ideas. It can also be anything else that you want. Um, yeah. But should anyone want inspiration for various rooms in the house, uh, we have it here. There's a lot of good stuff there. Mm -hmm. I do feel like just because I said I wanted to get those tapes at the beginning, I would probably look for that if there's like a CD rack or something. Mm -hmm. That's I'm I'm scrambling over to that and just good. you know rifling yeah. through it. You know. Valid. Yeah. Buddy Holly Christmas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the, just yeah. kind of looking. Through. All these Chipmunks albums. Why? Yeah, the Chipmunks exactly. Albums? Chipmunks. You know, <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking. I don't have time for music. I'm a busy raccoon. You don't want a hula hoop. I, I don't. <laughs> I absolutely don't. And uh, so I'm gonna try and do that in a deft way. You know, no mm. nonsense. I'm just. I'm here for what I'm here for. That's gonna be a four, which, looks which deft. is deft. Nice. Uh, Use the ship's car, home appliance, or carnival ride <laughs> in a flashy way. Hmm. Um, I think I'm like, ah, this is this is taking too long, and so I run back and I grab one of those octopus tentacles with the like rotors on them that you know cut through things, and I just take it to the CD rack and just. Like, only the strong CDs will survive. <laughs> God will sort them out. <laughs> exactly. Just, just tear it down. And once I'm done, at the very bottom, sitting in a pile, is a beautiful Tony Robbins CD. <laughs> the only thing that wasn't Fuck. pulverized by this rotor. Yeah. I'm just like, well done. That's the one. Truly the strongest. <laughs> yeah. Good Jack. What a successful raccoon. Yeah. yeah. Just take it. That's, I that's fantastic. Poke it into the front of my like sort of starched shirt. And, yeah. You you have a fully buttoned up with a bow tie. Yes, it's covered in mustard stains. Perfect. No notes. It, <laughs> the smell is indescribable. I, that's true of all of us, really. I think that's really just yeah. that's really just us. That's being a raccoon. Um, you know, I so I saw the antennas on the roof. Mm. I saw the ham radio antennas, so I know I know that there's some good shit in there. So I'm gonna have to scamper up to the upstairs area because I don't see like I in my quick survey through I don't see anything I don't see any like stacks of radios and equipment things so I'm going to scamper up to the upstairs and we've already alerted the dog and it's suspiciously silent so I think this is worth a roll so just trying to get myself upstairs mm -hmm. into the upstairs where I don't get destroyed by the dog who's clearly lurking somewhere oh, I'm goodness. going to be cunning can't be inventive in this case. I think cunning is the right choice. Yeah. Gonna be cunning. Here we go. Cunning. With. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a raccoon. Do you have a, That's a raccoon? Do you have a pet card? Want to you have a pet card? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play my pet card. Stack those. Pet, pet card says pet food has been left out in the kitchen and dining room. Oh. oh. So there's food in the living room, in the kitchen room and dining room, uh, which is, yeah. It's a thing. Or an but it means that I'm upstairs. Bam. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and I'm done playing cards for this round. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Eddie's getting worried. We've, uh, we've had a number of uh, uh, kerfuffles mm -hmm. already. There is a dog that is uh, intruding upon our fun times. Um, I'm going to say Eddie, uh, uh, bolstered by the support uh, they've been feeling thus far, getting into a mono-static uh, object-o fight, 
uh, with <laughs> a garage door and succeeding. Um, that bad. has boosted their uh, 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 abilities, um, some might say by 8.4%. Um, <laughs> And it's actually going to. Um, did you do that math on the break? I didn't. Uh, I did it <laughs> so horribly in part one, uh, but I made no interest to follow through. Gaming, um, but uh, uh, it will mean that uh, Eddie is going to add um, uh, 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 aggressive to. Uh, 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 what was I gonna say? Oh, um, actually, I wanted to put YOLO. On to uh, put your head through something. <laughs> that, that feels like a yellow. I mean, yeah. it just really. I'm surprised it, it's <clears throat> not there already. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, they gave put your head through something aggressive, which I completely agree sure. with. Yeah, yeah. But, but for yeah. balance yeah. issues. It's exactly. Not I'm just I'm yellow. just finishing what a designer surely was like. <laughs> this is gonna. Mm -hmm. This yep. is sleepless yep. nights leaving off that yellow. <laughs> uh, so game designer, I got you. I've added yellow. <laughs> I got you back. I got you. Um, and feeling more YOLO, Eddie is going to, um, can Eddie break off and look for the dog? Can Eddie go after the Eddie dog? Eddie can do whatever he wants. Eddie's going after the dog. Great. Um, Eddie's going to see if he can take care of the dog problem. To put your head through the dog? I, <laughs> that, that, there's an option there's for a, that. Listen, there's it depends yellow, on how he yeah. rolls. We'll yeah. see. Right, sure. exactly. Yeah. No one's going to say that that's what he's trying to do, but it's what he might do, <laughs> possibly. Uh, either way, he's going for the dog. I call it aggressive. And let's see, um, let's see what happens. That's a ten. Ten Strong. doesn't doesn't have ten. Oh, it's ten is yellow. Ten is um That's is yellow. eating trash that you really shouldn't with interesting effects. Ooh. That is YOLO. Nice. I said I was going in aggressive though. Yeah, um, you did. Um, yeah. Uh, if That's I was problem. power gaming, truly power gaming, like we were oh. before, I would have gone with YOLO. Um, but no. Um, so Eddie decides to uh, uh, go off four the dog, uh, and in order to uh, get an idea as to uh, what his victim is, because he hasn't seen the dog yet, uh, he goes after the uh, food that was left out in the kitchen yeah. to kind of get a smell for what's going to be on the breath of the dog, um, and decides to, um, decides to eat the dog food, which you didn't think would be really ill-suited for a raccoon's digestional uh, Tracked, um, but apparently Eddie is sensitive <laughs> to this particular pu uh, Purina puree, and uh, Eddie um, Eddie may be Purina psilocybin. Yeah, hallucinogenic <laughs> 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 dog. Turns out, oh no, Eddie is just <laughs> make your dog trip. It's Eddie starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. E Eddie is no longer hungry, so that's one problem checked off the list. But a new problem However. has arisen, which is that Eddie can now see time, <laughs> which is going to be a challenge for an individual as clearly focused as Eddie. Um, and so we're going to, we're, we're going to, yeah, you know what? Um, Eddie saw the time knife. <laughs> <laughs> The time knife? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, which makes the most sense because now Eddie has started something, uh, uh, started something going that wasn't going before um, in a sense of panic. Mm. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's um, a dangerous card. That's yeah. We, okay. we might not Doom, get any Doom trash on this run. <laughs> yeah. Who is upon us? Yeah, I'm going to say that Eddie in... Um, these uh, waves of sentience flipping in and out of his raccoon <laughs> fucking medulla uh, <laughs> finds just enough to go. That says on and flips a switch on the wall and the uh, uh, insincorator starts whirring. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, there might be a sink in that. There might be a fork in that sink so that oh might get God. louder. <laughs> um, uh, which, yeah. Which, Meanwhile, upstairs... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, downstairs. Because I think the dog was upstairs when I slammed the window. I think that's where the dog started barking. Was up was upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So that ominous silence, there's probably a dog closer to me than anybody else. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, but now, now Eddie's gone on a peyote fucking spirit walk <laughs> down in the kitchen <laughs> and he's communing with an incinerator. So, the yeah. humans are just yeah. having dreams about being chased by a garbage disposal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. There's yeah, a giant, yeah. No, that's, um, I'm right there. Yeah. Right there, frozen in place. Yeah. Cool. Good. <laughs> How's it going, Kit? All right. Uh, Kit's going to follow <coughs> the Brisa upstairs. Okay. Um, and uh, like squeeze under a slightly too high uh, like door gap into the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Because my ultimate goal they is to explore the hidden parts of the house. They took the carpets mm. out so the, the, like, the gap yeah. was too high? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I think the most hidden part of a house like this is the giant walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. So the the the... People are sleeping in here, but Kit just sort of sidelines into here, and then it's just this gorgeous, quiet little sort of paradise of, uh, of garments he doesn't understand, and shoes that smell. Yeah. And uh, so this is sneaky we're going with here. Steal some and trash. Yeah, well, and I'm, so I'm going to try to steal, um, steal the, the best, best combinations of shoes. No matching pairs, but the ones that seem to complement each other. Uh, I did not get a sneaky, oh. which means <coughs> we are boned, y'all, because I've already played oh, a card, hard. Okay. so we have so to mark cool. number three, and because the panic is Panic's also on the board, we four. also have to mark oh, number no. four. We gotta get out of here. Uh, <laughs> we retrieved this many trash. <laughs> no. would, would somebody read the uh, panic Line sure. On there for we'll say days. real quickly, uh, uh, in the middle of his peyote trip and checking out the time knife's edge, uh, Eddie was able to find the dog. Right. Because so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So we we can leave with a dog. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Which could so be a giant hunk of meat. We have uh, a dog. We, it's, it's, what has happened is I have woke up the humans, but they haven't seen us yet. So far, they're fumbling around in the dark. Uh, so I think uh, I. Uh, Kit very silently made it into the walk-in closet, and then, and then, uh, reverently touched one of the shoes and started to pull it. But it was actually part of a pile of shoes, and then they all started clumping down, and so the people woke up. Then, because of the card, uh, they turn, they flip the lights on, see me. So now we have to cue the fast-paced banjo music, and uh, describe the mad chase through the various parts of the house. Yeah, we uh, might attack are pursuing humans okay. or throw off track <laughs> to slow them down. It said mite. Yeah, so I think <laughs> Kit will throw... Eddie yeah. doesn't live with a conditional. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> there are no mites when you YOLO this hard. <laughs> Kit will throw a shoe, but it's that attitude. nowhere <laughs> near a person. It's just sailing flying, through flying the... Flying uh, things. There's things flying through the yeah, air. Yeah, sailing through the room. Yeah. All right. Uh, great. So Kay. each of you now has one more role to describe how you were in panic getting back to the ship um, and, and what you were doing on that retreat as you go. And then we'll move to okay. scene four. And that, uh, that is a role to... Yes. And okay. I think what, like, what you're doing on the way could be up to you, right? Like if, if you want to say you are going to mm. fight a human, if you want to say you're going to try to steal trash mm -hmm. on the way out and run, like you can absolutely do that. Okay, so I could but potentially it's be a role get something. No matter what, because we're in panic mode. Yeah. yeah, you could potentially steal something on the way out. You don't have to go home completely. Okay. Hand. Well, and, I, to be clear, you do have a Tesla. Right. And I think you haven't played a card. So I true. think, but I still only have like one more roll. Right? Yes. Before right. We, we have one more turn. If it's unhelpful, you could play a card. To but, but I could. But you'll yeah. be guaranteed a success. Pretty you, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Me, true. on the other hand, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, we're just going to find out. I think. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> What I think I yell to everyone is, all right, kids, got to know when to fold them. We're going to Venezuela. And I, you know, no extradition there. And I... Uh, Venezuela is just one part of the junkyard, is what you call it. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, there's just a, a thing, because it's like where that particular bus was made or something. Incredible. There's no extradition in that bus. It's a pile of Tapatio bottles. I, I don't know what extradition is. Um, no, but it's a big word. It's very important. Yeah, exactly. 
exactly. I'd, I'd read it in, in stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I rush out. I jump, before I leave, I jump into the trash can and uh, find myself a big, just pungent salami. <laughs> Truly mm -hmm. the oldest and yeah, strongest the of the salami They clan. threw it out because it smelled too strongly for them. Right. They're like, oh, this is done. <laughs> it was too powerful for them, but not for me. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. how to tame such a beast. So mm -hmm. I grab the salami, and I, I'm, I'm trying to, to get out in a stylish way because, you know. Salami. Yeah. What, what is life without style? You've got sure. to show them that you're in control. So I like to imagine you like jumping ten. out as, as you jump out the window, like you're saluting the humans. <laughs> Ten, which is not stylish. Uh -oh. um, it's move yourself or the ship to a new place, which is deft, but that's fine because I'm going to uh, use a card. These are all great. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say you broke something big to do what you just did. Mm -hmm. yes. And also it says move yourself or the ship to a new place, and I'm trying to move myself anyway. So, so, so yeah, the, uh... I grab the, grab the salami and you know, book it back onto the ship, scurry up a tentacle. Um, and in the process, uh, I knock over the garbage can into like a bandsaw, which is, <laughs> which is in the, um, the, uh, the garage because it's okay. sort of like a workshop uh, situation yeah. and a bunch of cans fall into the bandsaw and that like the button gets flipped on somehow and they like the cans hit the blade and they just turn into basically spinning shurikens which just <laughs> fly all over the garage one of them punctures the gas tank a fire starts after you know an electrical cord gets broken mm -hmm. the car's on fire mm -hmm. uh the smoke alarms are going off uh there are, there are seconds left until this house enters its final state yeah in wow. terms of entropy. <laughs> <laughs> it's final heat death state. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. The heat, the heat death, death of, of the ranch house. <laughs> the heat death of the <laughs> Wow. Oh. I'm fucked. Yeah, you gotta get out. Yeah. I gotta get out. Just like chew through the roof or something. No, like, I gotta get out. It's bad. <laughs> I think I can see from where I am, I can see that fucking window that closed. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm gonna try and get out through the window. I think I'm going to scamper up on top of that, that toilet and try and flip that window open. Try I mean, and get up maybe the problem is that it opens out. I, I did it wrong hoping. from the outside. Maybe exactly. I can do it right from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do that inventively. You've got to succeed on a roll of venture. Got to someday. That's what I thought, and yet. <laughs> someday I'm going to be inventive, and it's going to be amazing. Come on, raccoon die. Don't screw me. Six. Inventive. Yay! Yay! Yeah. yeah. I use a machine to make something frighteningly easy to or to empower another raccoon. Mm. Ooh. So here's what happens. I get to the bathroom. I see that the bathroom has a toilet, as one would expect. It has been retrofitted with a uh, bidet <laughs> attachment. <laughs> sure. Good. The bidet that attachment sounds was incorrectly plumbed. They plumbed it into a higher pressure line than they were aware of. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. use it anymore. They know this was a poor choice. There was the one incident with mom. She screamed and everyone just, that was, we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. But because I was being inventive, I spot this and I hit the actuation button, but I'm standing on the lid. And the lid goes, Poosh, yes. and just flips me up through the window, which mm -hmm. just falls open because I messed it up so badly last time that it doesn't latch anymore. <laughs> it sprung close, but it wasn't latched. And so the, <laughs> the lid explodes upward from this bidet that was hooked up to a high pressure water line and catapults me <laughs> out of the house. And I have left. And I think I grabbed the roll of toilet paper as I went. And so I'm trailing a big <laughs> arc of toilet paper. Great. Great. Oh, on the on the list, um, on your trash list, write down salami. Oh, and, yeah. Tony oh, yeah. and Tony Robbins. Uh, and Tony Robbins CD. CD. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We're not we're not going away totally empty handed. Yeah. yeah. Makes me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are doing great. <laughs> and I got some toilet paper. Yeah. One roll of TP. Excellent. We're doing so well. 
Fuck yes. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, just, just, just wafting through a ayahuasca fucking daydream. Uh, now lit by the flames coming from the garage. Uh, this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> it's truly the first time Eddie has felt good. Uh, uh, it's, it's nice, it's warm, there's a womish feeling with the flames uh, uh, approaching. Um, there's a feeling of oneness with this other creature that he has found uh, and speaking some kind of garbled tongue. Uh, Eddie says, I'm going to save my son as he attempts to grab the Cocker Spaniel and uh, uh, take it out the bedroom window, out the second floor window into the backyard uh, in an attempt to save his dog son, the Cocker Spaniel, inside this flaming house. Um, which Honestly, is probably good for the dog. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, until it becomes Lord Chunk of Meat. <laughs> we got the salami. We're okay. The We're dog covered, can be yeah. a dog. Right now, yeah. Eddie's in a place where dreams are tangible and real and can be brought through a window. And malleable. And possibly chewable. Yeah. Um, and that's a nine. Um, and I did say he was going uh, YOLO. If I didn't, I thought it. Uh, but he did, in fact, roll a strong. Um, cool. Which is taking a beating. Wait, hang on. Uh, the line goes under, so that's a six. <coughs> no, sorry, that was not your roll. It's my bad. My roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alas. And that's been the difference between sixes and nines for people who don't roll die. Uh, <laughs> uh, it takes a second. Yeah, no, just, seriously, if you've never fucked. We gotta, we gotta check. You gotta know what that line means. Uh, but this means that Eddie is going to take a beating, and I'm going to say that is a tag team effort from the uh, um, kind of colonial style window mm -hmm. and the Cocker Spaniel that really doesn't <laughs> want to go through said colonial style window. Uh, it's kind of becoming a uh, natural disasters tag team on uh, Eddie and eventually Eddie is going to uh, let go of the dog through the colonial style window in order to get himself uh, Outside, oh. uh, can't play a card. Yeah, tragedy. And that's that's it. Eddie does not get his uh, his dog son uh, like, safely Eddie, onto the you ship. Eddie, look like shit. <laughs> I'm looking for my son. <laughs> <laughs> Kit is cornered. Mm. Kit is cornered. Uh, Kit's there are now. there are humans uh, in the in the bedroom. Lights are on. They know exactly where he is. <clears throat> so Kit's. Uh, response is to put his widow paws and his tail curls up and he kind of uh, palpates <laughs> it and his eyes which were already quite large kawaii uh, after all yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> big eyes uh, small mouth Bruce, telescope to an even larger size he's going to try to sensitive his way to uh <laughs> compelling the humans to have mercy here we go seven, seven is not a sensitive. Oh, no. no. Uh, I use a thing the older raccoons probably don't want me messing with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, it might be the Hitachi back. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we got to up the ante. Uh, so there's a, there's a full <laughs> on. House is exploding. Yeah. yeah, there's a full on fuck machine in the walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And when I can see that the humans are not impressed with my giant melon-sized eyes, I start backing up Weird start. and hit <laughs> the on the switch, switch. <laughs> yeah, for the, the, yeah. the penetrator 5000. Mm -hmm. And so it starts juddering, um, and it's on such a high setting already that it kind of like starts, you know, thumping oh, it itself around. Down. What's that? It wasn't fastened down. Yeah. Wasn't right. In, yeah. No. It was, no, it was not operating. secure. Come across that problem. Yeah, right. For sure. yeah. No. It was. It was actually. I'm thinking. Like leaned up against the wall. <laughs> right. Like you know, because it was. Yes. It was stored. Yeah. 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 Right. 
It's originally an industrial piece for like chipping through concrete. Right. It's right. Not, it wasn't <laughs> set into its down and locked position. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It's, it's very stable when it's down and locked. Once so the when set it's pins are yeah. in there, that thing won't yeah. shake. But once it's up against the wall, there's, all bets are off. No. So I think there's a comical moment where Kit is sort Flywheel of... Flywheel this big. Yeah. <laughs> like halfway, like... Flywheel. <laughs> Bicycle it. Almost... <laughs> Riding this thing and scrambling around on it and cl you know climbing it as it tumbles and then eventually it gets into just the right or wrong spot where it rockets itself through the master bathroom mm. and out this back window. Yeah, exceptional. Um, wow. Now, do we do the rules have a, a thing about like what happens if you? Straight up fail and exit roll. I feel like they don't. Okay. I feel like this is we kind looked of, it up this before. Is one of the things that was okay. a little bit a little bit not well defined. I'm the pretty rules. sure it's you burn the house down and destroy interior walls with their fuck machine. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure no, that was it page says 14. That right here, <laughs> is that 14? Yeah, I think it's 14. I, I missed that part when we played huh. last. That time. defends right. this scenario surprisingly <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, this the very structural specific. damage is, is pretty severe. Yeah. I appreciate that they put it in italics. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say anything specifically about the that last roll to get out of the house. Okay, so um, blasting so, the house so, with so I'll you know it launches me out the window, but then the machine itself gets stuck in the window, but it's still going, and so it starts <laughs> just building pressure until the whole window frame is like coming dislodged, and then the ceiling oh. starts Cutting up to... another means of egress for the humans <laughs> yeah. who are going to burn to death. Right. This yeah, the roof begins collapsing. And is yeah. suffering many losses tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Among them, their fuck machine. Yeah. Among yeah. them, their fuck machine, their pet. Yeah. Their lives. Their house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> possibly children. We haven't even found the children yet. Yeah. 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 Next time. Let's hope they Tongue all have clear. fire uh, ladders. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Smoke hoods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, the humans aren't your problem, y'all. Um, <laughs> you successfully made it out of the house. Congratulations, you have completed Somehow. scene three. Yeah. It yeah. was chaos it was from good. the start. Yeah, it was not good. It really Frankly, was. <laughs> Pretty a successful. lot just happened. Um, <laughs> really exciting. So that means we are moving on to scene four, escape. Uh, the first gotta, word of this yeah, is, no. ah! <laughs> uh, so we're going to so get true. back on the neighborhood map. Great, perfect, mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. um, and we are starting from the house we're in, um, and then moving back to the junkyard. Um, the noise row on the problem track, uh, I don't, I think it was, we went a little bit out of order, but. We are straining. Uh, on, the, on the house one. Oh, on the house. All that that means is that the neighborhood watch slash opossums are after you, so there may be, um, things happening as you try to escape uh, oh, what's happening with good. that. And we're noisy. And you're noisy. Right. So on Let's your turn, um, these are the, the goal of the scene is to get back to the junkyard. Um, the oh. options for your actions are one, move the ship on the map from one space mm. to the next. Um, this was one that's a little bit up to the narration because it says, when you make an unhelpful roll, the location you're in will give you ideas for how things go wrong. Depending on the narrative, you may decide you can still move the ship or for extra fun, move it in a random direction. So if, if your goal is to move the ship like on your that. turn and you roll an unhelpful roll, the ship might still move, mm. but maybe something else terrible happens or yeah. it moves to a wrong square from where you want it to go. Um, the other thing you can do is fight the neighborhood watch or a ship of rival trash animals um, and then deal with unforeseen consequences. What does, if you fight the neighborhood watch, does that make That's it a very easier good question. to escape? Or <laughs> it's not spelled out in the rules. It's kind of yeah, funny. it is not really spelled out in the rules. We don't. Can we kill the neighborhood watch and then we just don't need to do like? <laughs> let's assume the, we can. It is going to answer in yes. <laughs> the neighborhood watch has okay. drones, so the drones fly at us and they're armed. They're designed to take yeah. out the re the reckoning sky we pirate ships. We have an anti gravity octopus. Yeah. <laughs> we do. <laughs> And it's equipped with food processor blades, so I think that right. we, can, we can probably take care of the drones. Well, you're using but terrifying alien technology. I think, mm -hmm. I think mechanically, the idea is that when we have an un unhelpful result, we can use the neighborhood watch to say, well, we tried to do a thing, but they blocked us. They right, got in right, our way, right. we were unable yeah. to do it because of the neighborhood watch. Yeah. We can describe that. It's a, it's a narrative thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we still have that there's just nothing holding these two parts of the ship together. Mm -hmm. And a strong wind threatens to shake the whole ship apart. Mm -hmm. Both of them rivets. Yeah. yeah. Both so rivets. It's that they're marked on the ship problem track. So like mechanically, they don't necessarily change things. But they should be taken into account if 
there to play. Unhelpful things happen and you can sort of roll that. It's a shaky ride right back. Yeah. yeah. It's probably yeah. a shaky ride right back. Yeah. Very much a shaky ride right back. So whose turn is it? I think it's Kara's turn. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think it's time we book it. So let's head for the car mechanic garage, which is right here. Tesla, 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 Tesla. <laughs> and, uh, I we am. We can't collect trash on the way out, unfortunately. I mean, you could make the choice to stop and collect trash. Uh, there yeah. will be consequences. Okay. Yeah, sure. For that. that I would imagine if that happens, happen. that's when the neighborhood watch would catch up to you sure. and things would happen. So I'm not saying don't. Right. I'm just saying I'm. I think for now I'm trying to escape. And I did add. You're a strong leader, I, th I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, I'm like, we got to get out of the country, boys, which, <laughs> you know, I think means get back to the. <laughs> I have a, a, a dim idea of national boundaries. <laughs> um, so, and I did, uh, since I got the hunk of meat, I did add cunning to one of these Great. things. Extra cunning. So I've got some slight improvements. So I think I'm trying to do this in a cunning way, you know, avoid the government spy satellites and stuff. All those drones. Mm -hmm. That's a two, which is, which is all three. So. Thanks. It, again, I've rolled two, three times, and it's inspire other raccoons or conspicuously lead the way. This you're you're really, really turning out to be at. the leader, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I so this. I think I very dramatic. I like I go onto part of the ship that has like in the earlier kerfuffle the helm just kind of came off. Like mm -hmm. so, I think it's fully exposed to the elements, and I'm mm -hmm. just up there moving the ship's wheel, which is actually like the wheel of a car from the 70s that has that kind of like wicker like sort of weave mm. over the metal oh, thing yes. yeah yes. and I, so i'm just kind of turning that and you know the wind and the rain the is wind blowing the rain. Yeah, dramatically there's a, there's a strong wind is already going That's, exactly yeah, absolutely i'm and like bow tie comes in tight and is flapping behind you <laughs> like someone lash me to the wheel the boys <laughs> you know i suddenly become very nautical Something something has awakened in me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we head over to the, the car mechanic shop. Yeah. Excellent. I don't need the die. I've got my own. <laughs> I don't know why I gave that. <laughs> I love that. Ceremonial it. passing. It's now your turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it seemed right. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I should use your die, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> that one Honestly, not you've been that. rolling That's the right. way it yeah. has yeah. been rolling. Subtly leading the party. Actually, roll this one. <laughs> this one is weighted on the two, so. <laughs> Apparently so. Okay. Um. Stop it. <laughs> do you do you guys not use trick die? <laughs> <laughs> Were we supposed oh, to use fair that. die? <laughs> I, okay, I have a Tesla. One Tesla is gonna be enough. One Tesla will be enough. So I'm just gonna aim for the golf course. Just gonna do it easy. It's gonna be okay. I'm going to, uh, I don't, this really is not an inventive thing. This is really more of a cunning thing. Mm -hmm. Operating the machinery to steer us to the golf course. Mm -hmm. It's gotta happen. 11 is cunning. Nice. nice. Excellent. Reveal that things are not what they seem. So, here's what happens. Is I am cunningly getting back to our steering mechanism and our propulsion mechanism because propulsion was also a problem that we didn't really talk about. Mm. We didn't really talk about how this works. No, no. idea how. But the thrust never matter. No, no. So, <laughs> the thing is, I always knew. I've known the whole time. I've known exactly how the thrust works. I wasn't telling people because... Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Just, it, I'm, I'm forgetful sometimes. And so <laughs> it turns out I'm going to kind of conflate two of my things because I really, really wanted to roll Raccoon Rocket. So I'm going to say that uh, I reveal that the, the thing that you thought was just a burbly thing on the back, just this kind of bubble-shaped thing, actually was a propane cylinder. Ooh. And so there's just a rocket flame of propane shooting out the back <laughs> of the ship now. Mm -hmm. We're slightly more visible. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. But we're aiming for the golf course. Nice. Beautiful. Ten. Success. Five. Thank you. Success. Thank you for the die. Yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> we can share the die. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We, well... Let's see, Eddie, uh, thinking Eddie is, hasn't quite come down yet, so there's still a few tracers just kind of trailing in and out of his view uh, as we go uh, rocketing over the hills. 
and sand bunkers. Um, gonna say just for um, yeah. <laughs> Is it worth stealing a golf cart? I don't want you to steal a golf cart. It would be really funny. I really, I really want to have a golf cart. That would be good too. It would be really funny if we all died because you stole it. It would be such a good compliment for Tesla though if we had a golf cart. Right. Because you can power the golf cart off of Tesla. Mm. And then we can move stuff around in the in the junkyard. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Make yeah, car yes. nunchucks as we have them both in motion at the same time, connected by a power cord. <laughs> we can on, clothesline other vehicles. On the octopus. It's yeah. one of the octopus. On the octopus. The octopus arms That's are just like doing this with the yeah, Tesla exactly. and the golf cart. We're counting our electric heads. These are ideas that Eddie will one day absolutely sign <laughs> off on. I think we're explaining this to you while you're stoned out of your mind. Which is totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> right now, Eddie is trying to yeah. figure out what has happened to his son. Um, <laughs> And, child. <laughs> and he's just kind of like in the back of the ship in his uh, little B-17 bubble. <laughs> just going, have you seen my son? Uh, and he sees a golf cart and he goes, my son! And Eddie uh, jumps out of uh, the up death bubble uh, in an attempt to save his son. Uh, a golf cart, a stationary object. Um, which... <laughs> I would die for Rabies Eddie. <laughs> would you? Would you? Don't worry, Rabies Eddie will die for you, whether you ask it or not. Um, and in a, uh, like, like, like any good father, Rabies Eddie is showing his strong side, uh, uh, ready to battle gravity for his golf cart boy. Um, and that's a 10. Which, once again, um, isn't really going to work out for him. Because like <laughs> no. last time, it was eating trash. He really shouldn't. With interesting <laughs> effects. <laughs> so here's the thing. As he is uh, looking and traveling over the body of his poor, lost, wayward son, the golf cart, um, Eddie thinks that he's going to need some power fuel for this. So he reaches into his back pocket of, I don't know, uh, and pulls out a little more of that weird Purina dog food <laughs> that he munched on. Because boy, did it really make his eyes hurt, like, time. Is he um, super yeah, hero? yeah, but he decided to keep <laughs> some. Well, because, like, 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 like a lot of bad yeah, ideas, sometimes you want to just, you want to be able to just check in again later on down the road. Was that a bad idea? One day, Eddie will go, yes. Yes, gleaning the time knife was a bad idea for Eddie. Um, uh, 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 so yeah, uh, fucking shit. Uh, so we're gonna... Um, We've already got rivets. So if you had any rivets... Yeah, that'd be a good one. So as Eddie goes careening out of the death ball uh, uh, to go save his lost golf cart son, um, I'm going to say he grabs a tether, one in one of the octopus arms, attaches it to the uh, golf cart child, um, and is then linked back up into the up ball. Um, and as he's getting dragged back, he's basically bait in the air. It's like chumming the water <laughs> uh, for sharks, um, but it's chumming the air with Eddie. Uh, for possums and neighborhood watch. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So this this is where that would come in then is that the complication is now on the table that the neighborhood watch is engaging in aerial acrobatics with you. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to take an action to fight them off before we could keep moving, that would again. be a thing. Um, that would make sense. Yeah, I agree. That's, awesome. I think that's where that comes in. It is a little unclear in the rule set, but mm -hmm. yeah. we have okay. a golf cart. But you have the important cart. thing. Congratulations. And my your, son, your is son is safe. Is on board the ship. I found my son. <laughs> Someone I met you just like the Milwaukee hugging protocol. Oh, like the tire of your son. A hundred percent. As Put it him rolls dangerously back and forth. He's just holding a tire. Uh, so Kit is not specced for combat. So Kit's going to let the neighborhood watch <laughs> That's weird. issue. Uh, get dealt with by someone else, and instead is going to try and you ought to look out for the fact that, uh, you know, we were, we were coming over the golf course at a good, uh, uh, good elevation, 
but we've started to kind of lose uh, height as uh, Eddie was picking up the golf cart and the neighborhood watch, we're doing some maneuvers. And so Kit sees that there's a, you know, a, a bank of tall trees that are right in our path. Uh, so he's gonna try to get the, uh, the Helms, Helms coon to evade that. Uh, 11 is not a YOLO. <coughs> it is instead okay. a show up where I'm least expected. <laughs> um, so I think there's, there's a few holes in the ship. We know that. One or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Plus there's the part that's not actually attached. Right. Uh, so I think there's lots of, you know, kid is trying to point at things and like get people's attentions and he's not looking where he's going, so he falls through a hole and actually winds up on top of one of the neighborhood watch drones that are like buzzing the ship. <laughs> oh, incredible. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Just um, splayed out drone, just going. Is, I'm just yeah. picturing the cat riding the Roomba, but yes. instead it's a tiny raccoon riding a drone. Yeah. 100%. Uh, and I'm gonna play this card. The ship has smashed through buildings or landmarks, trailing streams of wreckage. <laughs> so I think we, we hit those trees mm -hmm. and yeah. they are the springy bendy kind so i think we're going to move in a random direction now okay mm. i like it uh golf cart is catching fair. into branches yeah. yep it's a lot Power of power lines sparking yeah <laughs> so stay off my son i think i'm going to roll the d12 and use it like a clock where 12 nice. is yep. here okay three's actually probably oh well that's not, <laughs> not the best probably the airport yeah yeah the airport yeah Okay. It's more fun if they are the going to call the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Their airport because is being this attacked. Is about to now we federal. have yeah. Yeah. a raccoon sky ship, mm -hmm. potentially a possum sky ship, yeah. and certainly some uh, neighborhood watch drones, armed neighborhood watch drones, yeah. in the flight path. They don't have permits for that shit. Of our airport. No. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're basically scrambling the F-15s yeah. now. Permits. We don't think about permits. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, though. We're in trouble now. Yeah. Y'all want to steal a 747? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't not want to steal a 747. Okay. Well, forget getting back to the the landfill, junkyard, junkyard, not junkyard. landfill, <laughs> landfill. Porcupines. Where the poor porcupines live. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm doing good. <laughs> anyway, let's steal a 747. <laughs> Just classism within trash animals. Yeah. It's just, yeah. oh, what oh a thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm like a, a wolf of Wall Street right yeah. now. Like, I know. Of this I'm is terrible. a capitalistic nightmare, yeah. so that does make yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, you're it, not wrong. It's good. Yeah. Keeping with our illithid mo motif, I feel like if this works, it's going to be like a brain bug like attached to the cockpit. Oh, absolutely. Of jet. Like, 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 we are going to take control of yeah. its avionics <laughs> through our own electronic right. systems. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I think I'm going to do this in a stylish way because why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah. We, we've come to play. I like it. 11, get in over your head. Well, that is stylish, <laughs> and I feel like that is also exactly what I described. Pretty, Pretty much what you said. Pretty much exactly well. what you said. Yeah. What yeah. you well said. Well rolled. It's really weird. Yeah. So I think I spot a plane, uh, just a full passenger jet that is taking off, <laughs> that, like a few minutes ahead of schedule, but they saw this brouhaha coming towards them in towers. Like, gotta just, go. Just go, 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 go. And I see them. And I'm just like, you gotta spend money to make money. And I pull a lever, and the the mind flare of a ship we have mm -hmm. just makes the sound like the Mass Effect Reapers, <laughs> like just fully like clamps onto this thing. One, you know, spears through the cockpit. You know, the pilots are screaming. It's broken, yeah, broken glass. One of them flies out. Uh, yep. He lives. Probably. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Maybe. Injured, um, you know. Sure. Yeah, it's just wind everywhere. So it's sparking. Dog. And yeah, we, we take control of the ship. And I think I, I get on the intercom and say, passengers, you've been commandeered by the neighborhood raccoons. You know, <laughs> we will be issuing our demand shortly. But what they hear is, <laughs> within the world building of this game, however, uh, so. On this page that I'm looking at, there's a little sidebar about Ballot Initiative 12, which is arming the Neighborhood Watch, specifically in response to repeated predations by flying raccoons. So I do feel like while this is an incredibly 
unsettling and terrible experience for the passengers in this jet, mm. it's not shocking to hear a raccoon over the intercom. Like, oh, I don't, no. I think it's a moment oh, of like, no. oh, fuck, it's a raccoon. Like, what's so going is, on? This is like a D.B. Cooper situation. <laughs> we just need to hang on. The feds will get us out of this. We're going to be fine. <laughs> Just give them what they want. The airlines have insurance against raccoons. <laughs> yeah. and hand over the shiny trinkets. It's gonna be we'll okay. be fully indemnified. You do cool. not stand up against them. So we can add a 747 to our trash. And, uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Uh, also, a bunch of passengers? A lot right. of oh, human yeah. lives. A lot, a lot of human lives. Yeah, At how least many? one human child. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. You might get your wish. I'm getting many children today. <laughs> oh, my many boys. <laughs> All right. Oh, my. Okay. Um, I am so thrilled. I'm so happy right now <laughs> to have our ship hooked up to the avionics of a 747. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Dream come true. It is literally a dream come true. I don't think I have control anymore. <laughs> I'm in full YOLO territory. Great. This is full YOLO. I believe that. Whatever, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just trying to aim it sort of for the junkyard, going for a move, because I think that we can outrun the neighborhood watch at this point. I think that we're yeah, faster than that. You have a 747. Yeah, a 747. <laughs> yes. So Landing might be a problem. F future that's for the future. Problem. future yeah. You only live once. <laughs> this is true. You ought to look out. You, you ought to look out. You only have to land once, too. It's a five. <laughs> five yeah. is only inventive. Oh, no. I oh, build no. a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, you attached a 747 well, to us. Yeah. You can play a complication card. I am sure going to play a complication card because I really don't want us to explode. Uh, <laughs> take all those people with us. And we are so close. So close. Yeah, we're, so we're two this, away. This we is actually quite appropriate. I'll play this one. The Neighborhood Watch or a ship of rival, rival trash animals has set up a blockade. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I think we have to overcome a blockade when we get to our junkyard because mm -hmm. they know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we get to that junkyard, we're going to have some actions to get around that blockade. Makes sense. But we're aiming in the right direction. Beautiful. 747 for the win. All right. Uh, we're one away from the junkyard, yeah? We are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, yeah. I think that's where the blockade comes into play. Get through the blockade. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a blockade the in the way. There's, yeah. there's something blocking your way. Um, I don't know what it would be that a 747 couldn't just fucking go through, but, you know. <laughs> ship -ship 747s, missiles, it turns out, are not very strong. <laughs> Penetrating, they're, they're not. Sure. Yeah, it's just aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I guess that's true. They're great at air. Anything stronger <laughs> than air. It turns out, <laughs> yeah. not you great. know what? Fair point. <laughs> yeah. Fair yeah, point. So those you know. those birds took out Tom, uh, whatever his name is. Sully. Tom, Tom Hanks yeah. plane. Uh -huh. No, it was Tom Hanks. Yeah. It was Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah. Tom Hanks, Hanks was, was flying the plane. Yeah, yeah, when the birds came for Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they knew exactly what to do. Was that that movie, The Birds? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. God. There's something on the wing. Yeah. Hitchcock, I remember what a that. classic. Yeah. Yeah. I love that Hitchcock movie about landing a plane in the Hudson. I'm saying it. By Tom Hanks. <laughs> by Tom Who didn't Hanks. exist. <laughs> the Birds by Tom Hanks. <laughs> That's an extremely Tonight, different film. Tonight, it's a very games. good movie. <laughs> Curiosity didn't shoot. <laughs> we <laughs> remake classic theater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we have to ostensibly get our way through a blockade. We mm -hmm. do have a blockade. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is it Neighborhood Watch or is it Trash Animals? Oh, has it been dictated yet? We you get to decide. We haven't really decided yet. And it could be one or both or either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could mm -hmm. flavor what it is or how you get through it. I like the idea of a... Uh, uh, I almost want to say like a, like a rival like possum ship, like trying to come in and swoop the loot mm -hmm. sure. as we happens. are this close to getting it <laughs> back to home do base. We have a 747. Right, we have they a 747, we have, we have uh, at least one child, we have a Tesla, <laughs> uh, we have a golf cart. Yeah, um, this is what they always do, they're lazy, they're parasites, they they're just, just take what we've earned, <laughs> yeah. stealing it You're honestly. You're distressingly good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't uh, a small town. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
very pleasing. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Also it's a very terrifying. definitive tie happening on Brisket Jack right now. He has many opinions. Brisket Jack <coughs> listens to a lot of talk radio. <laughs> Brisket Jack doesn't really have a problem with Coors Light. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um... Yeah, so uh, uh, Rabies Eddie also doesn't have a problem taking on a blockade of opossums. Um, uh, uh, yes, because uh, you know what? Scamper to a death ball. In well, they're endangering yeah. his son. Uh, 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 one of many. Uh, I, I do love this deep parental lore that is fueling Rabies Eddie. You never know what a drug's going to bring up inside of you. Uh, 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 um, you know, just you know, know your limits. Uh, um, but uh, which rabies Eddie absolutely does not know. Uh, 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 don't eat dog food. <laughs> don't, don't eat dog food if you're not built for it. Uh, uh, so yes, uh, 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 Eddie's gonna YOLO for his boy, uh, for his many many mechanical boys, um, and is gonna attempt to um, to go mano a blockado. Uh, yeah, yeah, YOLO. Six. Six. Oh, it's a re it's wreck something which you'd think would be YOLO, but it instead is only strong and aggressive. Mm. Oh. Which also makes you sense. You spent a card, right? I have Earlier. spent a card. Uh -huh. So this. So we do have four problem tracks that we can check off. We're yeah. not doing poorly. Yeah, yeah. the ship is actually mm. doing okay. I believe you have to check off two because we would go in order. We go in order except if there's a. Well, but rivets okay. is already marked. And yeah. We've only got no, no. Rivets she's saying cards. mark off number two. Oh, yes. Yeah, not two items. Not two oh, okay. Got it. Sorry, not yep. two items. Mark number two oh, because yeah. we are going. Yeah. Helm. You mark in order, and then additionally, you mark cards that are out. And are all our out cards rivets? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some power gamer gave Some us this advice. Yeah. <laughs> the <Excellent>. strategy. <laughs> Which does make sense. Uh, Helm being the problem track designate here. Uh, the ship makes a mess or gets caught in the trees and telephone wires, <laughs> or smashing into a building. Describe what happens. Yeah. Well, oh God, if we you, have a plane. If you think of the fact that like right now we have a like mini Death Star and sketching off the back of it is an airborne uh, golf cart and a 747, <laughs> which I imagine is not really skitching from behind the death ball. We're, is, we're more like clamped onto it. It's probably, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're just kind of a boil. 747 is bigger than our thing. I think it is. That's yes, it is. entirely. A yeah. little. A little. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I right, mean, right. It is built on a school bus, I just want to point out. So. That, actually, that's true, so probably So yes, not. bigger, but not like, it, it, our ship's not like this it's big. not like 100 to 1. Yeah. yeah. This is, this is yeah. like no, a, a, ten, like a 10 to good. 1, 5 to 1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, we're, so, we're so we're clamped right. onto the top of the 747 okay. for now. Like executive decision, we might get Steven Seagal off, who knows. <laughs> ah, um, ah. But right now, we're on top of the 747. Harrison Ford uh, comes out. But yeah, no, we're dragging that golf cart. Plane. And I think, I think my boy, my, my dear darling boy, got caught in some uh, electrical li uh, lines. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Or is per perhaps just smashing through, um, through a 52-footer right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he's getting caught in the uh, metal banding on the back of the uh, package hauler. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, right, yeah, so it's a hold. It, it holds tight, unfortunately. Got this. So it sounds like we are not through the blockade then. No. All right. So that's what I'm gonna have. Well, to hold do. on. Oh no. You, no. no. Yeah. yeah there's no, there's no card. Yeah. Problem so, card. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Kit <coughs> is going to try to appeal to the universality of uh, of vermin. The garbage within you brings yeah. the garbage within me. Right. It's gonna, gonna hail the possums on comms. Go for a sensitive. You guys really ought to let us go. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a sensitive. Hey. Nice. Uh, the prompt is to follow a smell. So I think Kit is gonna go into some deep sense memory. Uh, it's kind of like how uh, JFK reached out to Khrushchev during the, uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Because mm -hmm. he didn't talk about the missiles. I follow this, yeah. He oh, talks yes. about how Deep beautiful call. the Chesapeake was. And then Khrushchev talked about like, how beautiful wherever the fucking Russia he was. And like, they, they bonded over this mm -hmm. shared experience <laughs> of nature. Um, so Kit is going to talk about 
the smell of garbage when you burst open it up and it just hits you like a fucking fist. Um, that sickly sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and uh, play on that sensory experience to convince the possums to let us, uh, let us go home. We just want to open our garbage. Yeah. Don't you want to open your garbage? <laughs> Why are we out here fighting when we could be going home and opening our garbage? Just, just wake everybody. <laughs> just want to feed my son. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we're through the barricade. Yeah. Yeah. Which the uh, blockade has been defeated, so now all we need to do is move. Incredible. Okay. Take us home, leader. Yeah, I, I will. All right. And uh, I think. Once again, this is going to be stylish, because we don't have a runway in the junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really have a good way to land a 747, so I'm going to have to improv something a little bit. Yep, yep. There so, is an office trailer. I bet if you run it into the office trailer, it'll slow down. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. It's going to screw absorbent. up our electricity, but we've got the Tesla. <laughs> exactly. It'll, it'll be good. And the uh, 747 probably has, I don't know, batteries on it. So I, I just, you know, click on the thing. I'm like, I'm coming in for an emergency landing. The captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt. Everyone just hears, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure everyone is already braced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. started talking all to in, the intercom all the in crash time. positions. Like, the fasten uh, seatbelt <laughs> sign does turn on, though. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, let's, let's do it. That's a three, which is cunning and stylish. Hey. Yes. Okay. Oh, so three you. is actually create a distraction. Hmm. Um, so I think some, ner like the, the possums have broken off, but the neighborhood watch people are, are still sort of coming in, you know, to, to take us out. And so uh, I'm going to uh, just look back at my office, shed a single oily tear, <laughs> and pull a lever, and my big mahogany chair and my quota day motivational calendar <laughs> both fling out that just, you know, they become unlatched Catapulted. from the thing. Exactly. Yeah. And they, they go whizzing off into the I trees. I rigged it special for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We talked, this was a whole thing. We Ocean's Eleven style flashback <laughs> to. Yeah. Just now, ejected out one of the school bus windows. Now listen, yeah. Vibrissa, we got to rig this up in case we need a distraction. And we're going to put fireworks inside <laughs> the cloth of the What's cushions. really fun is I was actually thinking that I should suggest that I also gave you fireworks to hand off. Like the <laughs> exactly. Products. You're on the same way. Yeah, we're on, we're, we, we're we are, because we coordinated in the yeah. past. <laughs> totally. We, um, so what we have is banks, like, like just a bank of uh, Roman candles, just, you know, mm -hmm. arranged like rocket mm -hmm. launchers, mm -hmm. <laughs> with one long fuse that goes between them, so they just start firing off. Yes. Right, yeah, they're sort of like trailing like a, a sort of banner from the thing, but they're, <laughs> they're also firing off as it shoots through the air. Oh, yeah. So they see what, in the dark of night, without like searchlights and stuff, looks like something zooming past them, firing fireworks at them. And they're like, angles, th everywhere. Th they went that way, they're all around us. And so they, you know, they bank hard to go after the flying chair and you know, th that is shooting fireworks at them. Yeah. As we come in gently for a landing on the office trailer, shearing much of the bottom, just shearing the landing gear off yes. the 747. <laughs> Everyone's that's luggage is uh, yeah. just and, and that's compressed. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. Gone. Yeah. They will no, not need that anymore. All, everything else on that plane, perfect. Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're good. We're set. And uh, yeah, we, we come down and the, the tentacles just like unlock like the freaking yurks from Animorphs just kind of <laughs> and just like come back into the school bus which just kind of slides down and now just looks like a normal school bus on the ground. Magic school bus indeed. <laughs> You can't Cthulhu's stay in the octopus school bus. form too long or it'll get stuck in the octopus right? form. Yeah. 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 yeah, we have a two-hour limit. <laughs> <'cause you can't laughs> alien technology. You, you don't want to fuck with that. Our ship is an animal. Oh, Jimmy, no! This fucking Andalite machine. <laughs> oh, no. That's why it's anti-gravity. 
Wow, the yeah. lore. The lore is deep. <laughs> it's so fucking um, deep. Congratulations, lore. raccoons. You have completed scene four, and we, you are home. We have a shocking list of things that we've picked up. You really up. do. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> There's some high value trash here. Scene five. Um, this is a scene without rules. This is a wrap up scene. Uh, you get to describe uh, what you do with the trash that you have gathered. Um, how many items do you have? Because there are various victory yeah, what conditions. Do we have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Many humans. I'm going to call eight. <laughs> eight. 170 eight. human lives. Incredible. Um, for eight to ten pieces of trash, the victory conditions, or We're at least the, do pretty well the victory there. is, yeah. uh, you are pirate royalty, the pride or envy of all in the junkyard. Junkyards throughout the metropolitan area know your names. They all dare greater because of you. Wow. Yeah. We're an inspiration, and yeah. we played it right this time. And you I played it right that. this time. <laughs> and I think we ended up with less damage on the ship. I think we did. Yeah. 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 Incredible. Because, because we had a power gamer. gamer. <laughs> <laughs> because the rivets. Because, yeah. because yeah. the rivets. Because we really yeah. knew what we were doing this time. The yeah. terrorism threat level has been raised. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. You know. The TSA is on Black overdrive. Watch plan. Yeah. We're nearly at magenta. This nearly <laughs> rated magenta. But we're, we're still at mauve. So this, this is just going around the table. And uh, you can pick a piece of trash that we collected. I say we. It was all you. Um, and tell us how you are using it, um, either to better the junkyard in general or just to enjoy the fuck out of life yourself. Uh, there's no judgment. We're all raccoons. Um, so, yeah, take a look at the list. And, uh... Oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you want to start? I want to start. Great. So, the Tesla. <laughs> so many things about the Tesla are so good. The first thing that I wanted was I wanted to make the junkyard a place that had more electricity, more of the time. This is something that came over from the previous game, but I stand by this. I think it's a very good goal. And so we hook up the battery of the Tesla so that it can power all of the like electric shavers and um, uh, food processors, because we have a lot of food processors, let's be clear. <laughs> and uh, For sure. The, the, the lights, the like strings of lights and things like that, um, all that stuff is powered off the Tesla. We can go for days now, which is good because the trailer just got trashed. Mm. So we've lost our access to power for a little while until they come back and fix that. That's the human's problem. But I also, using your help with some of your friends, we rig it up so that there's a board under one of the rear wheels that is exactly the right size for some piece of trash that we have a lot of, like cans of, unopened cans of soda or something. Mm -hmm. And we get one raccoon in the driver's seat, pressing on the gas pedal. The wheel is spinning at a furious pace. We take the can and we go, doop, and poof, shoots out and explodes against something. Mm, this is the other thing that the Tesla would, was necessary for was to make a uh, unopened soda can Flinging machine. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that makes everything better in the junkyard. Everything I see no better. reason that it would. <laughs> everything is better now. Um, <clears throat> you flash forward like a few months later. Um, it's, a, it's a Saturday night. It's the off weekend. It's the second Saturday of the month, uh, which is... Eddie's night to see his, uh, his children. <laughs> um. <laughs> Never mind. We'll come back to this. <laughs> so Eddie is uh, he's a detached father like so many others. Uh, but after a particular night um, with uh, this amazing diet change that he discovered uh, and having a, a, a real spiritual night meeting his 170 living children, um, every weekend, uh, Eddie works on his ultimate dream that we had discovered last week, which was that Eddie will one day raise an army and a child. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is Eddie's weekend when his boys show up, all uh, 170 surviving humans <laughs> uh, show up to the junkyard uh, to see their daddy, nice. uh, Eddie, uh, a... Uh, uh, Skittering, one-eyed, scarred commander, now just uh, uh, traveling around, uh, who does loops around the junkyard, uh, 
and his oh, number one son, the golf cart. Yeah, absolutely. Um, charged by the Tesla. Charged by the Tesla. Mm -hmm. um, um, always plugged in, but never tethered down. Um, uh, uh, and Rabies, Eddie, is uh, building an army where the slogan is um, uh, enthusiasm so great it's infectious. <laughs> uh, and that is, that is the future for Rabies Eddie. Yes, good. Nice. Raising his that. many, many sons of destruction. His army A of judge children. Granted his army of human crazy children. Crazy Eddie, or Rabies, rabies Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> shared custody <laughs> yeah. for 170 Wait, human who, lives. Who are you sharing it with? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie never really came down that night. <laughs> Eddie's living in the clouds. Eddie started forever. his own book. <laughs> oh god. It's a tale I love for it. a different story. Wow. All right, so it sounds like the Tesla isn't being used to drive very much. Oh no, it's it's propped up on yeah. a on a pile of garbage so, so we could wire it in. So Kit is going to scavenge the side mirrors and rear view mirror mm -hmm. and any other reflective things that he can the find. The whole roof practically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and create this sort of mirror chamber where he perfects uh, his, his kawaii look. Because I actually <laughs> I used my level up from exploring the hidden parts of the house to change, manipulate something tricky into cuteness overload. Ah. Um, and so Kit is going to leverage his fame uh, amongst the, the various uh, trash yards and, uh, and really try to hone his... Um, a, you know, his, his version of, of blue steel uh, to just like get this look that makes people and raccoons melt. Incredible. I like it. I like it. So while Kid is in the fucking cerebro <laughs> yeah. cuteness amplification right. Right. chamber, right. Um, Brisket Jack is taking his uh, annual three months of vacation uh, using his private jet. Uh, <laughs> which we have now. Which, which we, we have, have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm in the Cayman Islands. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm making deals down there. I'm, I'm fully just living the life of a human businessman <laughs> during those three months. I'm meeting with, you know, financiers <laughs> and just like lawyers and st just human people who are like, well, we can leverage these assets as I show them just this ridiculous list of, you know, 747, <laughs> nuclear power plant. Just right, like yeah. all these things I've gotten over the years. Just like, yeah, we can, we can make this work. We can make a nest egg. You know, make your money make money. And I'm just like, <laughs> don't know what that meant. Uh, well, at the end of... Brisket Jack's story is basically the end of Animal Farm, where you can't tell the difference between the businessman and the fucking raccoon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's Sounds wonderful. Right. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, dark, it's dark stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ends up funding a bunch of super packs. But, you know. It's a surprisingly political game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? It, it gets there. It happens. Yeah. <sighs> so, Amazing. The, uh, an idea that I had, mm -hmm. if we ended a little bit early, I was thinking that we would end around 11, and it's not even it's 10 o'clock yet. Oh. Um, I was thinking that we might have a little discussion among us of what we thought of the game, how the game might be improved or played better, things that we could have like, you know, improved in ourselves as we played, or things that would be a nice addition to the game. Just anything like that, any sort of feedback that we have on the game. Um, We've discussed a little bit of it. One of the things that I ran into because I was facilitating the, the previous game um, was that the, the rules are a little bit wobbly in places. There are some places, particularly in end conditions, where it's not obvious if a failed roll fails mm -hmm. yeah. or if it succeeds or quite what happens there. So that, that would be a good thing to clarify. It doesn't break the game for me, but it would be a nice, a nice thing to improve. Any other thoughts? It's, it's interesting to look at, you know, we have five of these rivets cards out. Mm -hmm. So if we hadn't been doing that, we would have lost. Right. Because uh, right. we only had three ship hit points essentially remaining. Right. Um, I don't know if that's intended as far as the design goes. You know, it might be an exploit. Uh, there might be a thing in the rules that we just 
didn't catch that. There are some advanced rules that we didn't really look at, mm, yeah. but I don't think that they hit that necessarily. Yeah, it seems like that's kind of just part of it. Like you're pretty likely to, you know, get rivets. I would kind of. I. It seems like this is pretty easy to figure out, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know, like it's like okay, we'll just do one that we've already gotten, right? Yeah, and just do do that over and over. It would be nice if the complication, because it seems like what the complications say right now is purely kind of flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah. it would be it nice is. if there was some kind of yeah. thing of like, just some kind of rule of if you have a problem, you have to deal with it before you can proceed, right, yeah. kind of thing. Agreed, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's very much left to, it, and it comes up a lot in the rules where it says, um, describe what happens, you know, deal mm -hmm. with the thing that, it, that appears in front of you without any real guidance of how that should look, what it, mm -hmm. you know, how, how should that appear mechanically, how, sh you know, for our power gamers who want to make things yeah. sure. more, more mechanically interesting. Um, or just as a guidance for people who yeah. are maybe newer to narrative yeah. storytelling like this. It, that it I feels, feel like there's, yeah. you know, it, it's, it would be easy to look at that and not know Sort of how to handle it. I mean, it, frankly, right? like, we did yeah. this, you know, the, the last week, <laughs> and even this, of like, okay, but like, it, we, we've hit the noise track, we're in scene four, we're running away, the neighborhood watches after us, but what does that mean? Right, like, right. Do, it's, does that mean it's that then every role, instead of moving, like, we have to deal with the neighborhood watch, and then if we successfully roll a helpful role to deal with them, they're not following it? Like, there's mm -hmm. not the guidance in terms of that. Yeah. And I think that. I think some of that is, is intentionally left vague. Like the point, the sort of vibe of the game is that it is just like, we are just kind of on a roll and we're all making right. it up and we're all doing this narrative. But like some of right. that I think can be pushed a little more. And that I, might be just something to do at the table, right? If you're like mm -hmm. playing this again or with uh, like some other people saying like, hey, let's make sure that we hit that hard. Like I, yeah. I want this to be harder than it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some groups might be like, I don't actually want it to be harder than it is. I just want to have a good time with my friends and get back to the giant carrot just fine. So I did have a lot of fun though. Yeah. I I do yeah, it does seem like the replay value, like if I were to play again, it seems like this is basically how it would go again. You know, that yeah, you know, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of repl to... replayability in the game. Like yeah. I, I can so see us having doing a more focused thing on the on another session. That. Yeah. But, there, yeah, it it does seem. I will say, that like, uh, personally, like, I enjoy uh, rules help define things for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just, as an individual, especially for games that I play, I really enjoy the rules because uh, then it gives you. You have to get more creative. You have to right. learn more to get creative, uh, which is always more interesting. Because uh, um, then the complexity of the creativity gets. That's where the fun is, for, personally speaking. Um, so, like, if if there were mechanical follow-ups, like, even if it was a suggest, because, like, there are a lot of things where it's, like, bibbidi-bobbidi-x, describe what happens. It, it might be, I think it could be great if it was, like, describe what happens, you lose a piece of treasure, mm -hmm. or some <laughs> function on the ship gets harder later on. Like, yeah. even if it were that loosely put on there, that even that would be more mechanically linked than any because any any of these cards is as good as the next card if they all mean the same thing. Yeah, you know what and I mean. And that might be the intention. Totally. Yeah. But I don't know that it is clarified, especially for people who do need those rules as a, mm -hmm. you know, the way that like if you have restrictions on what you're doing, it makes you more creative to think with those. Gives like, you something to push off. Yeah. Of. yeah. Um, and, you know, again, we learned this incorrectly last week, and I'm <laughs> just reading it as we go. It's like there might be stuff that we're missing in here, but... Yeah, it does yeah. seem like it is designed to be a game mostly of just, like, prompts for improv. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's not it does su super, uh, like, dice game. There mm -hmm. just happen right. to be some dice. But it also does feel like a game that you can surprise play with people. Exactly. Of, like, yeah. I don't know these rules. One person <laughs> does, but there's four of us. And, and that is right, explicitly yeah. called out in the rules. Which is very specifically yeah. says, yeah. one person shows up who's a facilitator. That's right. you. You're holding the book. So you show up. You explain the rules to these people. Characters are pre-generated. The ship is basically pre-generated. The mm -hmm. neighborhoods are pre-generated. So you just, like, this is a drop-in game. This is something yeah. you can it's pick a up at game. con. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can set up and you can say, I need four people. Come with me. Totally. Yeah. And you just and the, set up the game. The replayability for me is in different 
sets, sets of people at the table, yeah. right? They're For like, sure. I'm, yeah. I'm less interested, not that I don't love you all as people, but like, I'm <laughs> right. less interested in playing this exact game with this exact people yeah. because we just did mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. But if it was like a couple of us and three other people who never played it before, mm -hmm. it could be a completely different narrative mm -hmm. and would be yeah. equally would be cool. as fun. And I think that's... That seems what this is designed for. Is like it's not. We're gonna play a campaign of records. Well, yeah, it doesn't set up. <laughs> right? It doesn't right. set yeah, that totally. up. But what it sets up is like I have this book and it's on my game shelf and people are over and we're just chilling and we're having dinner. Do we want to play like a two-hour game? Let's go. Your friend who doesn't want to really get into D and D yeah, or Pathfinder like, and is kind, kind of afraid of, curious, of it. Maybe curious, but like that's huge. Let's play this. It is still table curious. Yeah. 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 Conversely, um, the challenge of designing a full raccoon pirate game is quite fascinating. Yeah. Like, well, I, I would, would like to, to see what that would this like. out yeah. into, into a full campaign. Twenty. Yeah. How granular sessions. can you yeah. get? <laughs> yeah. And definitely, okay. once you get into higher levels, the vibrissa sort of uh, rabies jack. Like if you multi-class, it's yeah. crazy yeah. broken. Yeah. 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 Once you start applying <laughs> archetypes, yeah. 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 multi-class into YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have to say, mechanically, I do really enjoy the twist on. There's just a list of actions, and you roll to see what yeah. you do. Mm -hmm. no, like having that be yeah. very different because I'm I'm so used to something like D and D or Pathfinder where it's like I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna roll against the skill that I'm using to see, if it's to see how well I do it. Um, and it is a really fun prompt for narrative improv to be like, this is what I want to do. Oh fuck! I'm doing this other thing. Yeah. How, turns out how I'm a wild I... animal. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, turns out I'm a raccoon. Um, and that, like, sometimes, I mean, you did this several times where I feel like you rolled exactly what you wanted to do, not mm -hmm. just the helpful tag, yeah. but like the action was the very actual well action. aligned. Mm, that with was it. exactly what you yeah. described. And then sometimes it's really unaligned, and the fun is being able to say, okay, that's what I do according to my sheet. But this was my intention, so how do those things fit right. together right. to move the and story? I along? think that's more like the challenge of the game is just yeah. like figuring out what to say. Yeah. Right. The, the, like, the yeah. challenges are in the improv and the narration right. and less mm -hmm. in the mechanics of will the neighborhood watch catch up to us? A, right. a justification engine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a prompt list and, and that sort of thing, um, which I think it, it does well. So maybe it's just us to us as a as players to be like, I want the Neighborhood Watch to be a bigger problem, so I'm going to make it a bigger problem for me. Right. Yeah. Because that's what's fun to me, and you know. Yeah, and I think that all of us are approaching this from a rules-heavy perspective. We're all used to playing D&D. &D. Yeah. Yeah. We're all used to playing Pathfinder. You know, we're used to, to games that have a thousand rules. You have to memorize an entire book fucking book. Book thick. Right. Or yeah. ten books. You know, my stack of D&D &D books is this big. Yeah. And that's cool, but that's not what this, what this game is. Yeah, yeah. Totally. More, much more of a Honey Heist vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah. This, is, yeah. this is Honey Heist Plus Plus, where we've got, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's more than just the one stat. It's a little bit more interesting. There's a little bit more to sink your teeth into, but yeah. it's still a party game. This, yeah. is still, yeah. this is still a thing you can sit down with friends and explain in 20 minutes and get going. Yeah, people can yeah. pick it up easily, which is, which is good. We need games yeah. like that. So I think... I think with a few tweaks, it would be an excellent game. I think it's pretty good as it is right now, with with that understanding in mind. But like the few areas where it's kind of soft would be nice to nice to refine a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah, thinking about it, it, it is a really well designed gateway game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is designed to get people who don't think of games as um, an interesting um, hanging out with friends activity. Mm -hmm. Which I'm so sorry if. <laughs> or, or people but who were just intimidated by totally like yeah. Yeah. the idea of being like I I like hanging out with my friends I like telling stories with my friends but like I look at D and D and I'm like oh god that's huge I don't, have time I don't. To read a book yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to learn all yeah, these things like, it makes sense what makes sense to me is if you look at those communities that are behind these big big uh, games and you are intimidated. Strictly by the force of the community. Absolutely. Like yeah. fucking a. Go like, on a Reddit post and ask an innocent question, and like cover every no. ass you have. Yeah. Because it's gonna cover you. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is this is kinder in like every aspect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, especially like from a rules perspective, and also a picking it up and running with it. Uh, this very much does feel like a first day of like improv camp. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. fucking run this to get the kids thinking type of thing. I, I truly feel like you'd have to fight. And people are out there who would do this, but like you have to fight really hard to get into an angry Reddit thread about the rules of this game. You know what I, I mean? Like, you would exist. I can't. I think for sure, and there are people out there who would do that. But like, 
it's because it's so much less crunchy. There's they're like there's less to get mad about. Rules lawyering yeah. doesn't really matter in this game because mm -hmm. like the point is no. to tell a story with your friends, and you're like, I, yeah. that's not what I'm here for mm -hmm. in this moment. You know, which again, just accessibility, I think, is is really key. Yeah. Also, what a terrifying world. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh God. Shit. Yeah. The world the building in here is are, wild. Yeah. And not just, just the one that we made. Like, no, yeah. the, the one game that itself came in the box. Yeah, it's it like fully, there are weekly raids of multiple raccoon yeah. parties on Suburbia <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Like, we made it worse, but still. Like, <laughs> you gotta think that the like richest people in this world probably live in like... Domes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Truly just like Chain -link ultra protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with anti-aircraft and yeah. placements. And, yeah. Yeah. Anti Guards who sit up all night watching for yeah. raccoon shit. Yeah. I guess that's not that different from like a D&D &D world where you're constantly dealing with kobolds or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's or kind of just that, but in, in this world. Or the DMZ yeah. between North and South Korea. I think they got political. But. I, we did. We did get political. Yeah. <laughs> Said this is a stunningly political system. It works really well. It's true. Listen, this if you want to fuck right up here. with capitalism, I've got a game for you. This is basically Disco Elysium. Yeah. It has so much right. to say. It's here to tell us what's what. Amazing gateway game to us. get people who are curious about leftism. <laughs> <laughs> All for this. <laughs> Oh Out no, game's this. too woke. <laughs> probably. That's probably a problem. But I don't think people will see it on the surface. I think they'll have to they have to have the right yeah. brain to see it. Yeah. You have to dig so. in to you, see how You deep put this your game world has. building onto yeah. this world for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's fun. It's a fun little fun little quick game. And we I mean we talked through the rules probably more in depth than I would if I was like just straight up teaching it at the table because yeah. some of it is just learning as you play. Yeah, and some of that sure. is like, I am presenting to people who are watching and like want you to understand and come with us as well. Um, so like truly, I think you could teach this to people in like 20 minutes and then just like go as you go and be like, oh, we've hit this thing. Here's what it has to say about that as we do this. Um, and then once we started, I think we played it in like an hour and a half. Sounds right, yeah. yeah. Because we started, well, maybe a little bit more, but I think I hours. finished, I'm trying to like look at my clock and remember what I saw when I <laughs> looked at it before. I think we finished talking rules and really started playing about 7.45. Mm -hmm. And we ended a little after nine, so maybe two hours. Mm -hmm. Similar to the hour and a half to two hours time yeah. frame. Still even like, in, that's still ideal. Yeah, yeah. that's not, yeah. it's not a lot. It doesn't feel intimidating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is shorter than some board games I have played. Oh, For sure. A lot Many of board, board games, games I've yeah. played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shorter and more fun than Monopoly. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a, it's a great. Equally political. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this one didn't end at 2 a.m. with like you just with going, fuck this game, yeah. Grandma. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Keep boardwalk, I'm sick of your shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking selling park place over here. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, we just all steal Park Place, and it's fine. Yeah. Because yeah. we're raccoons. Cool. Well, I think this was a very successful event. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Yeah. For joining with Annex Theater to play a little uh, new game that none of us have played before. Um, I would say that's true because we did play it last week, but we did it wrong. So. We didn't yeah. play that we version. Didn't, we didn't right. really we play didn't it right. Play we played version. a different version. No, um, we did we a read the rules first. in between then and now. <laughs> now, what game does this rule sound like to you? <laughs> <laughs> that rule we read 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh. Um, and yeah, so we are uh, uh, here with the Annex Games Curiosity Initiative. We're going to try and be back once a month, and we're going to try and play a new thing once a month. Will we succeed? Eh, we'll find out. <laughs> um, we also expect that Kaiju Battle Arena is going to come back at some point. We want to play that again. Um, so stay tuned. More Annex Gamery is coming. And uh, tell your friends. Tell everybody how much fun this was to watch. And we'll see you next time. Yay. Thanks, everybody. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.